Welcome to stop number one of the 2017 Vans Pro Skate Park Series from here in Manly Beach, Australia. Look behind me, it's beautiful. Today we have 20 global qualifiers competing for six spots to move into tomorrow's semifinal and final alongside our pre-qualified Select Series pros. This is the first of five stops leading into our global championships in September. I'm Chris Pastris, joined by broadcast dream team, Neil Hendricks and Chris Cote up in the booth. Guys, this contest practice has been going off. Tell us what we can expect to see here this weekend. Well, expect to see some of the best park skating you've ever seen. The level from 2016 to 2017 already been raised. Practice is any indication of what we're about to see. This park is about to be lit on fire. Chris Cote here with Neil Hendricks. We've waited six months since the Global Championships in Malmo. We're fired up. Could you have a cooler spot for a skateboard contest? Here on the beach in Manly, New South Wales, thanks for everyone here for hosting us. I think this year is gonna be all about the new blood. When you look at the new kids in Park Series this year, it is next level. CJ Collins, Keegan Palmer, some of the guys that were challengers last year, like Carl Berglund, Tom Shard, Trey Wood, Willie Lara just won the barracks in transition. 2017 is gonna be good. Well, today's the day we're gonna start to see, like you said, some of the new blood coming up against some of the Park Series challengers. Now, we've picked 16 Park Series challengers. We have four wild cards. And today, we're gonna make one of those savage cuts down to six to get into the semis tomorrow. So day one of competition, stop one here just outside of Sydney in Australia, the Vans Park Series. And we're gonna kick it off with one of the best parks we've seen yet on this entire on this entire series. Yeah, California Skate Parks came in here a couple weeks ago, built this amazing park. You see a little discoloration in the flat bottom. That's some of the moisture coming up. We've had a lot of rain the last couple days and it's really humid. The guys said the park is not slick at all. Luckily, the paint and the concrete is really grippy. So you see that discoloration in the flat, not bothering these guys at all. All the guys are really digging this new park. An amazing skate park in a beautiful setting. Now let's talk about some of the skaters that we're gonna see this weekend. So today, like I said, we've got ch challengers trying to get into the semis and finals tomorrow. Here's a look at your select pros who will be competing tomorrow. Sorgente, our world champion, Ben Hatchell, Chris Russell, Corey Juno, Curran Caples, Grant Taylor's back. Raven Tershi, yep. Ivan Federico. Those are the big dogs. We got the top eight from the World Championships plus seven other select guys. There's only one guy on this list, Ishad Ware, that is not here this weekend. He's competing out in Tampa at Tampa Pro. Good luck over there, Ishad. Well, let's get into the format we're gonna see today. We got, four, the skaters will each get four runs at 45 seconds. Best one run counts. So we got four heats of five skaters each. Uh, we marked that down to 16 tour challengers, four event wild cards. Out of those 20 skaters, only the top six will advance to the semis tomorrow. So best run counts, Neil. What are the judges going to be looking yeah, for? Yeah, today it's all about getting in that top six. Like always, it's going to be difficulty of tricks, use of the park. I think it's really come going to come down to guys doing some unique lines, some unique transfers. There, there's some lines out there that everyone is doing. Then there's a few transfers and lines that only a couple guys are doing. That's going to be really key. Speed, style, flow, and power, always important. And you can bet that our Park Series Select Pros will be watching closely today as these are the challenges that they'll be meeting tomorrow. Yeah, quick shout out to our judges from the border today. We got Jason Rothmeyer, Kyle Berard, and Renton Miller from here in Australia. That's our three judges. All those guys are really capable, been judging top pro events for a long time. So top six, that's what today is all about. They're some of the best in the business and they are right on the deck, just feet away from the action. And let's get back to some of the sessions we've seen. Now, we were on the entire tour last year, watched some incredible practice sessions go down, just some kind of free skate sessions with the whole crew. I've not seen anything like I've seen in the past two days. The have just packed in some of the most heated sessions. The practice ever. sessions were so heavy the last few days. I could not even believe it. I was telling these guys were just slamming their brains out. I was I was just telling them like save it for the weekend. Guys. Save it up. Well, we're gonna get started with qualifiers. Heat number one: Colin Graham, Carl Berglund, Patrick Ryan, Vinicius Kakino, and Vincent Matheron. So we've got something for everyone in this heat. I'm loving the young blood of Carl Berglund. Of course, Colin Graham, he's pretty much a vet. I mean, we've only had one full year of competition on the Vans Park Series. 
Colin Graham, Patrick Ryan, and even Vinicius Caquino, they've had some experience here in Park Series. Vincent Motheron a little bit, but he is no yeah. rookie. He is a bowl master. Yeah, Vincent out of Marseille. If you're from Marseille, you definitely know how to skate parks like this. But Vincent really came onto the scene a couple years ago. Then he had a knee injury, took him out for like a year. Came back really strong last year in Huntington. So we're super excited to see him uh, in right, Manly in 2017. Now, you know, the judges, they're going to be looking for powerful skateboarding flow. And we're going to start it off. First skater to drop in, Colin Graham from Virginia Beach, Virginia. Colin's best finish last year was fifth in Huntington yeah, Beach, starting it out with a tail grab to tail over the hip. Look at that, 5 -0 grind through the deep end pocket. Love seat gap up to Smith grind. Yeah, I've heard the love seat is tricky to get to, but Colin Graham looking like he had no problem navigating Run, the whole rock. That's a 10 and a half foot extension. It's about two, almost three meters. You know, how much does using the whole part come into play for the judges? Super important. Stalefish disaster in the deep end. Front rock slide. This is a great run by Colin. So Colin Graham, his bag of tricks. I mean, it is a bottomless pit. Wow. Ollie up to board slide. Fakie, that is time. Amazing start for Colin Graham. First run on the 2017 Park Series. Neil, what do you think? That was great. It's funny, just from watching Colin skate in practice, he's been ripping, but I think that's the longest run. You know, it's really hard in practice with all these guys dropping in in the different pockets. It's probably the first time he's taken a 45 second run this whole week. So you're representing Embassy Skateboarders, Embassy Skateboards out of Texas. And uh, I'm liking it, Colin Graham. You know, he's definitely a, kind of a lone wolf. He, uh, Contest and just kind of does his job, puts his headphones on, and you see him at practice, just head down and really just concentrating on the run he wants to get. Carl Berglund, 17 years old from Malmo, Sweden. We've already given him most improved yeah, from is, last year. He has come in so hot. Here we go, the first look at Carl Berglund in the 2017 Vance Park Series. I mean, Carl was ripping last year, but this year he's uh, he's been spending a lot of time in California skating with the boys, got the new park over in Malmo, and Carl has just been turning all of our heads the last few days in practice. He's sticking pretty much to a line he's been practicing. I love that variation in his tricks and, and he floats through his airs. Just like that. Solid body jar in the deep end. There's the eggplant. Perfect style on that one. Big frontside air disaster. And he is a quiet human on the deck, but a loud skateboarder slamming the coping. See if he's got something big at the end of this run. Probably one more trick. Slob plant off the giant tombstone. Back D revert. Another amazing run. <laughs> Bonus. Two wow. skaters, two perfect runs. Carl Berglund, so he is a yet educated skateboarder out of Malmo, Sweden. I know. <laughs> kind of really asserted himself into Park Series last year, went to every stop. So it's great to see Carl now with maybe a little bit more knowledge of what this whole series is about. It's not just about how good you skate, but it's about your contest, you know, your contest brain and being For able sure. to know what the judges want to see. It, that's contest IQ. Carl bumping into first, a couple points ahead of Colin Graham. Wow, I like that we've seen the line in the sand being drawn, though. You have to complete your run. And nothing safe about those first two runs. Patrick Ryan, 19 years old, Fullerton, California, a goofy footer. He is a challenger with a lot of contest experience. It's about eight years old. Let's see what Patrick Ryan's got. Pumping for speed around the shallow end pockets. Look at that transfer onto the other side of the spine. I was talking to the guys, there's such a little narrow window. You have to hit that takeoff point exactly perfect to make that gap. It took the guys a couple days to figure that out. Unfortunately, it looked like Patrick kind of missed the takeoff spot right there, had to bail out. No mercy here from the judges. You fall, runs over. So again, you get four runs. You get 45 seconds per run, best run count. So that will no doubt be a throwaway for Patrick Ryan, 13.73. Um, he's in third place now, but he's only our third skater to go. <laughs> You're on the podium, Patrick. Vinicius Caquino, right. AKA V from Florinopolis, in. Brazil, 19 years old, regular Brazil, footer. V he has a human cannonball in these skate parks. Really fun to watch. Yeah, he is a little powerhouse, man. Shout out to all the Brazilian viewers, hopefully watching us down there. Got a heavy crew of Brazilians in the contest this year. V had a couple 
injuries last year when you skate as hard as this guy does you're gonna go down sometimes i know that he wasn't able to make it to the malmo world championships last year because of injury awesome smith grind through the deep pocket fully decked out on the rock to fakey wow fakey nose pivot i thought he was coming in forwards took it to fakey Sometimes those near falls are the Back most exciting. Smith Reaver. That is the gnarliest trick we have seen in the deep end yet. And hence the reason that uh, he has kind of gone through some injuries, never holding back. Wow. That fakey nose pivot, I thought he was popping back in forwards, and then you just hear his wheels barking. He takes it into fakey. Amazing skating, V. V is perennially stoked. You run into him on the street, smiles, high fives. He's just so excited to be wherever he's at at that given time. See scores coming through. I'm, I love the beginning of the run. Of course, that fall is going to hurt him 54.10 if he puts something together at the end i think that's going to be a solid score yeah that's you know 54 is definitely not going to be enough to make it to tomorrow b is going to have to make a full 45 seconds to even uh be in contention to even think about top six but how about this guy marseille local one of our two french skaters vincent matheron 18 years old vincent got in as a wild card down here in manly he's been down here skating the bowl contest the last couple weeks. Look at that boned out Indy over the head. That hip section is just built for giant lofty ollies. Wow, body barrel to sugar cane in the deep and going for the backside sugar cane just coming off with 20 seconds to go. So Vincent, Neil, like we mentioned, he um, he really, uh, he came over, skated some of the Van Doren Invitational events a couple years ago. Then he was out for, with a knee injury for about a year, but came over and skated Huntington Beach last year. I saw him at the Red Bull Bull Rippers in Marseille. Good to see Vincent back at 100%. Always a standout in the European park and bowl events. So let's talk about the uh, tech versus power conversation here. Um, the judges obviously love to see power skating represented. Big, solid airs, um, you know, hard grinds, dip smiths, but then flip tricks to start yeah. to come into play. What is your opinion versus the uh, power hey, it, versus it's tech? It's been the debate of skateboarding ever since Hawk versus Hosoi in the 80s. <laughs> there you go, and it continues. Here we go, Colin Graham, second run. Yeah, Colin put a solid 45 seconds on the board first run, so now he's just gonna try and up that difficulty. Gives him a little bit more freedom to get weird, try some different stuff. I see that tail slide, wow, almost wiggling out. And he just lost his line there in the shallow. Wasn't able to make the Ollie disaster up the giant tombstone. Colin is a great mix. Power versus tech. Totally. It comes into trick selection. Yeah. With 45 seconds to go, you figure, what do you think? You have eight, nine, ten tricks yeah. that you can go through? You know, I'm really curious to see. The guys that I really felt like were packing their runs full of tricks were uh, Hatchell and Kowalski, who we'll see tomorrow. So as we wait for scores for Colin Graham, what would Colin have to do to start to rise out through the pack? He's got every trick in the book. He's powerful. He's got a clean style. What's he got to do to stand out in the front of the judges? I think he's probably going to need a couple of transfers, maybe just big airs over those hips, maybe a gap up onto the you know backside of the spine, um, the gap that Patrick Ryan fell trying in his run. I think a lot of guys are going to be doing those transfers. Uh, but Colin's got two more runs trying up the difficulty. We'll see now if Patrick Ryan can react to uh, his first failed attempt to uh, complete a 45 second run here. It's gonna be Carl Berglund, skater from Malmo, Sweden, current leader. Look at this, Carl going for the gap. That was perfect, tweaked out fronts I grab onto the backside of the spine. Big Sean Penn in the deep end. There's the Madonna back foot just got away from him. Tough wow. fall, because that was going to be a killer run after making that transfer. You put the start of that run together with the finish of his first run, and you've got yourself uh, something in that incredible range. So that's the first time we've seen someone do that gap off the hip onto the spine. I think that's going to be a popular transfer for all the guys today. So of course, a big difference between a park series event and a bowl That's event is right we like to see right, our skaters right, utilizing right, 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 kind of the right, obstacles right, up on the platform, up on the deck. Now we see Patrick Ryan. Can he rebound from his opening run? See if Patrick goes for that gap again that he fell on first run. Nope. 
Took it a little bit safer going over the hip with a backside grab. I like the little quick grind up the escalator. You can see he's kind of just trying to stay on yeah. at this point. I think, I think Patrick switched his lineup because he maybe got spooked. Oh, man, that was a heavy slam on a frontside boneless. You know what that is? That's just contest nerves because I've watched Patrick skate the last couple days, and he has just been absolutely ripping. It's funny, when the when the announcers call your name, your, your legs just turn into mush, yeah, and it takes a couple minutes just to, like, get rid of those nerves, so hopefully Patrick will be able to come back. Yeah, Check this out. You'll see slam. his back foot just slide a little bit. He didn't have a solid grab on the board. Fully see? committed, though. I like that. And you see, a, so he fell probably a solid six feet from top to bottom. Let's talk a little bit about this part. And then you have the uh, feet to meters all worked out here at this beautiful California skate park design. Yeah, most of the shallow sections are about six feet deep. That's about 1.9 meters. The deep end, just on the bottom of the screen here, is 9.5. That's about three meters. And the big tombstone, the big extension down there in the shallow end, deepest part of the park, it's 10.5 feet. That's about 3.25 meters. So Patrick Ryan does improve just incrementally. He's about halfway to where he needs to be. Vinicius Caquino out of Florinopolis, Brazil. High speed attack. Here we go. Yeah, V's got the bonus over the hip. That's the exact trick that Patrick just fell on. Looked like the big coping on that tombstone. Didn't let Vinicius get that backsmith locked on. If you notice on that big tombstone, there's big, gnarly pool block coping. I've seen that spot catch a couple people out the last couple days. That tombstone's looking almost oververt. That thing is <laughs> Stand deep, at the man. bottom of that thing and it's, look up. And it, it's about eight foot transitions with about two and a half feet of vert, and it is burly. So Vinicius Caquino travels with uh, Murillo, Pedro Barros, his last run at 30.33. So again, yes, he's in third for now, but we've got 20 heavy hitters skating today. Only six spots available to get into the semis and finals tomorrow. Thinking most likely something in the mid 70s into the 80s will maybe get you through. Yeah, I think, you know, looking at these next heats, I think you're gonna need to be in the 80s to skate tomorrow. All right, Vincent Matheron, he's 18 years old from Marseille, France. Up over the spine, back in, pumping. And I just love that line and I can watch Air's front side and or back side. And it's zone it's funny, just with day. him being from Marseille, you know, Marseille has such a rad hip. I think all the skaters from Marseille are so good at blasting hips like that. Hey, this is a solid run. All right, 15 seconds to go. Front boneless on the peak. Oh my gosh, how did he hang on to that? Got way over the bars over his front foot. Five seconds, finish strong. Now you see the legs starting to burn. And that's be right there for yeah, that nice. was a solid run. You know, Vincent's going to want to clean the yeah, end of that run up. He really had a yeah. solid beginning of that run, but it looked like when he kind of missed his pump there, maybe lost his rhythm and lost his line. You know, one thing I've heard from the field is this being a longer park, if you get caught in the long portion right. of the flat bottom, you know, you can kind of do a well, surf style bottom turn to get to a close wall, but you can get lost pretty easily in that long flat bottom right there. Look at that. The, that he just sketchy. missed his pump. There's so many different transitions in a park like this. You kind of, sometimes you get lost in your own mind which wall you're going up. You're pumping a big 10 foot wall, and then there's a six foot wall coming ahead of you. Amazing that Vincent was able to hang on to that. As we wait for scores to come through, the mission of Vans Park Series, we want to grow. We want to grow skateboarding. We want to grow the culture, the park vibe, and of course, we want to inspire skateboarders to attack their local parks. You know, that's the whole thing here is you watch these guys and you just, you know, this will help you figure out, learn how to skate better by watching the best in the world. So if you're just joining us, this is Vans Park Series, stop number one. This is qualifier day. We're gonna take six skaters out of this 20 skater field. Chris Cote here with Neil Hendricks. Neil Hendricks, Colin Graham, starting with some speed, power, 
flow. Yeah, Collins still in second place with his first run score of a 75. So, like I said, he's got a run in the bag. He's able to take some risk, maybe add some difficulty to this run. Going for the big tombstone. Front blunt to Smith. Just looked like his front truck got caught on the coping. That is definitely a way to add some difficulty. And he is so consistent. Tell me about uh, trick selection for Colin Graham. What does he need to do again hey, I to think, just stand out? I think what we just saw, a really gnarly lip trick on that tombstone would bump up his score without a doubt. Looked like he was going for front blunt to Smith stall. I've seen him do that trick before, but it looked like that front truck just got hung up on the coping, had to jump off. So looking to beat a 78.64 who uh, Carl Berglund has that high score so far. Yes. Colin Graham's high was 75.43. I feel like if Colin was able to do the beginning of that run, do that trick that he fell on, I feel like he'd be right there with Carl in the 78, 79 range. You know, one thing that's kind of sketch for these guys in the early heats is just the unknown. Totally. Not knowing the scores that you're gonna need and looking down the line, Willie Lara, I mean, Keegan Palmer, CJ Collins, some of the names you have coming up, Tom Shar, who is, I mean, all these guys are so capable and of dropping to 75, just on like a 75% a run. You know what I've noticed with the guys in, in watching everyone, I, in practice, you saw everyone practicing their run. You really practice the beginning of the run, but a lot of guys with a crowded snake session, you're usually not able to make it to the end of your run. So I feel like a lot of these guys have a plan for the beginning, and then they're getting a little bit lost at the end of their run. Yeah, that's a so, good point. So, you know, maybe some of the guys in the later heats can, can you know, see what's happening with these guys' runs and maybe plan it out a little bit better so you're not getting lost, you know, 30, 40 seconds into your run. If you try, if you try to skate for 45 seconds in a run in practice, you're yeah. going to get heckled out of the park. Totally. Out of the park, for sure. Carl Berglund, his third run. Love that gap transfer in full speed. There's the transfer we saw Carl do last perfect. run. Just perfect. Such a rad style, boning the tail out. Oh no, the Sean Penn got the away Sean from him. That was such a rad beginning to his run again. And that's strange because I watched him do both of those airs, the Sean Penn and the Madonna. Pretty much he's been doing that all week. Yeah. Effortlessly. There's your contest nerves right there. I mean, Carl's a pretty much a vet even at such a young age in contest. He has skated. It comes, I mean, it, it, it's you know, everybody. Even growing up in Malmo, those guys have such a rad grassroots scene there where there's, you know, Swedish bowl skating championship. Look at this bail right here, taking the front foot off on the Sean Penn. Looked like maybe he wasn't over the deck enough to slap that tail down, so he had to jump off. But he grew up skating in all the local Malmo contests, the stuff that Brigariet does. You know, they, they have pool bowl contests all over Sweden and, and Copenhagen, Denmark. So Carl's definitely been skating contests for a long time. But when you're skating with this lineup, it's a little bit different. Yeah, you know, I, I think he's just right there, you see, just wipe, trying to wipe off the uh, that last run, he's still in first place. I feel like a 78.64, fairly safe. I, I feel like that score will stand, but of course we will see. Patrick Ryan now, he's yet to put together a complete run. Yeah, you saw Patrick holding that elbow. He took a big slam on the boneless on the hip last run. Patrick still not going for that transfer that he went for first run. It's gotta be frustrating though to kind of fall on a transfer and then see another guy in your heat do it three right. times in a yeah. row just effortlessly. This is the trick that he slammed on last run. Perfect bonus over the hip. This is the best run that Patrick has had. I love when guys go back to the same trick that they fell on totally. before just to kind of get up, get over that, that is so over that fun. mountain. You know, skateboarding is all about confidence and it's such a mind game. Look at this, this Patrick's best run for sure. Probably last trick, that fail might hurt him just a little bit. Good to see Patrick make it all the way to the end of 45 seconds. And in, I tell you, 45 seconds pumping around a park yeah. is not easy. I mean, you are tired. Time yeah, yourself no next time. If you're watching this, time yourself at your home park. Do a 45 second run. You'll see difficult to even, not even, not even just doing tricks the whole time, but just pumping for 45 seconds. Patrick's still gonna have one more run in fourth place. Bumps his score up. 
about 14 points from before, but looks like he's... There's a swell bow. That is a swell bow for sure. Luckily, we got some good medical here on site. We'll get Patrick iced down. I've seen uh, probably 90% of the field. All right, I think seeing Kakino. He does have 45 seconds. But it looks like... Uh, looks like rain hold. Looks like we got some uh, raindrops. I see the guys just, uh, yep. Unfortunately, looks like we got a rain hold while CJ Collins tested out. But you see, we got some raindrops on the camera. Folks, this is not what we were hoping for. But as we've seen in past Park Series events, we've seen it here in Manly Beach. Don't go anywhere because uh, we have got park professionals on hand. They will dry this thing out in a matter of minutes. So we're gonna take a quick rain hold. We're gonna assess the situation. All these people in the stands are just gonna go, you know, get some refreshments. They'll be right back. So please just uh, bear with us for a minute. Stay tuned. We'll give you updates as to what's going on. We're just on hold, a rain delay. Neil Hendricks so far. So good, skate-wise. Who has been uh, impressing you in this first heat? Yeah, it's cool to see. Um, I love that transfer that Carl Berglund did off the hip up under the spine. Like I said, I think that's going to be a really popular line in this park this weekend. I saw some other guys doing, doing 360s up that gap. I saw guys trying some harder tricks, even lip tricks up onto that red parking block. So uh, I think that's going to be super popular. So that was really cool to see. It was cool to see Colin Graham make his first run straight out of the bag. So while we do have a minute here on this rain delay, as we're on hold, let's take a quick look back at what we've seen thus far. Our leader, Carl Berglund, with a 78.64. Here's a recap. Started with Colin Graham from Virginia Beach, always a solid skater. What are the highlights of his uh, runs, Neil? Yeah, check out that boneless over the hip. Carl Berglund from Malmo, where we're gonna be for our third stop. Sweeper smacking the tail on the big 10 and a half foot extension. Back lip revert just to end his run. That's a solid ending right there. Carl brought a lot of confidence from last year and I think just in skating his butt off for, for the sure. past six months, he's looking super solid already. Vincent Matheron, he's all healed up. Doing it for the Marseille crew. Backside tail slide, grabbing the nose, almost going over the bars on the backside ollie. Slapping the tail to end his run. I don't think we've seen what Vincent is capable yeah, of just he, yet. He's got more in the bag for sure. And I feel like that's the same for uh, Vinicius Kakino. V, unfortunately, he was right there, ready to drop in. The rain delay happened. And uh, as you see right now, we're just this is a live overview of the park. CJ Collins. He's uh, still in there. Yeah, and you saw the, you know, there. it was really light gray, <laughs> all the concrete, and now it's uh, unfortunately a dark gray. gray. <laughs> so Chris Cote here with Neil Hendricks. You've seen a portion of what you're going to see today in the qualifier rounds. We've got 20 skaters from around the world all fighting for six spots to get into the semis and finals tomorrow. So with this rain delay, everything goes on hold, of course. I mean, this is just common sense. It's a safety thing. We want to make sure this park is dry and ready to rip before we send anybody back in. And I don't think it's going to be a huge issue for the skaters because the skaters have had a ton of practice the last few days. These guys have really been working on their lines. It's not going to be any different than the practice days the last couple days when they were just, you know, taking a lunch break or something. Skaters will be fine with this short delay. We're excited to see more skateboarding. We're going to take a quick commercial break, but we will be right back. This is the Vans Park Series stop number one here in Sydney, Australia.
All right, we are back and we are on a rain delay. So uh, a brief hold to assess the weather situation here in Manly Beach, just outside of Sydney, Australia. Chris Cote here with Neil Hendricks. You know how I was talking about the new blood in Park Series this year, if you saw in the background? That's <laughs> CJ Collins and Roman Pabbitt still skating. playing in the rain. <laughs> yeah, that is. Uh, it's funny when you stand next to these kids. They're 13 years old. They skate like grown men. Yeah. And then you look at their face and they're, they're kids. And it's like a, a mind trick. And the other thing about those kids, they can skate all day. It's super hot. It's middle summer here, southern hemisphere in Australia. And those kids have been skating all day in the heat, in the sun. You know, we uh, wanted to get right to the action. We didn't get a chance to make our picks, which is always fun for us. Some of us are agonizing over watching the practice, trying to make our picks. So uh, I guess we can just unofficially tell you who are the commentary team has been watching for, and uh, we'll, we'll start with uh, Neil Hendricks, your picks. I was going uh, back and forth. I originally had CJ Collins, but I ended up deciding to go with someone that I really want to watch is Corey Juno. Corey Juno won the big Bolarama contest down here in Bondi. He skated all the Park Series stops last year, made it to the finals. I believe he ended up fourth place in Malmo at the end of last year. But Corey Juno has some confidence, has some new tricks won the Bolarama with a giant frontside flip in the deep end, did a frontside nose blunt slide in his run. He's got a couple tricks in this park that no one else is doing. Corey Juno is my guy to watch. Who's yours? Well, you know, I went back and forth. I eventually picked uh, Don Vanderlinden just for the sheer putting the wild in wild card. My original pick, Carl Berglund, would have done me proud so far. Carl Berglund is our leader. I believe he has a 78.64 and, uh, you know, while we have it all teed up, it'd be nice to see so far who has set the benchmark on stop number one here at the Vans Park Series, our first event of 2017. Carl Berglund, so far our leader today here in Manly Beach. And, you know, maybe you can tell us what the judges are thinking. Why, why are they throwing out the highest score of the day? I mean, we haven't seen much. But what we've seen from Carl so far has been pretty incredible. Yeah, check out this run right here. This was his first run when he did the uh, air over the hip. His second and third run, he added that transfer in. Look at that high speed line. That is really far to grind over that love seat. And setting up with the big sweeper on the tombstone. Giant 3.25 meter extension. Carl really is a perfect hybrid of old school and new school. Isn't yeah, he? watch this. Uh, I believe he does a frontside air disaster right here, smashing the board on the deck. I love it down here in Australia. They call it, when you do the disasters, they call it the DECA. I like frontside it. air to deck. And, and he's not a big kid, but he is powerful. I mean, Look he at that. utilizes his his size in a in a big way. And I think when guys, you know, you, you hear the term skating loud, yeah. it's that. Heavy tail tap, the loud disasters, I like, like Chris Russell's style I of like skating. I like the back disaster revert at the end also, because you, you really lose your speed on that trick, so you can only really get away with it by it being at the very end of your run. I feel like the sketch factor, anytime you're reverting from the backside, it's just twice as sketchy. And here's your standing so far for your qualifiers, Carl Berglund in first place, Colin Graham with a 75.43. So keep your eyes on Colin Graham. To me, that's the score that's gonna be right there on the bubble. Yep. And we have 20 skaters to get through. We're only taking six. So if we ended right now, these would be your finalists going into tomorrow's semifinals. But uh, I'll tell you what, we've got some incredible skaters to see. Yeah, I love how international this field is. Carl from Sweden, of course. Vincent Matheron from France. V is from Floripa in Brazil, and we got a couple of Americans in there, Patrick Ryan and Colin Graham. Some of the names we uh, that we'll be seeing later today, you know, the standouts from last year, Tom Shar, he's got to be one of them. Robin Bolin. Now, Robin Bolin, I would say he is a dark horse coming into this thing. He's been skating so good. Again, super consistent. Uh, Murillo Perez from Heat 4. Murillo is a guy that skates with Pedro every day and he's dealt, dealt with his injuries. Hopefully, we're gonna see the comeback season for Murillo Perez. Here's who I wanna see. Heat two, we have Willie, Lara, Keegan Palmer, Clay Kreiner, Tristan Rennie. Heat two is gonna be super heavy. Yeah, I think uh, on paper, looking at heat two, that's 
pretty much got the, I would say, heaviest hitters from top to bottom. You got Young Guns, you got Clay Kreiner, who's uh, become a viral sensation for his padless, just madness. I mean, huge yeah. 540s padless. He's got the 540 kickflip body varial, which, I mean, and that in itself, and then you kind of add the padless tag at the end of that, and that is just yeah, pure what madness. A, what a last year Clay Kreiner's had. Kind of came out of nowhere. We all knew him just from seeing him rip, you know, coming up the last few years, but goes and wins vert attack last year. And then uh, even just a couple weeks ago, did this giant transfer at the Vans Combi Pool at the uh, Vans Skate Park where we're going to do the pool party in May, a transfer that no one else had even come close to doing it. Clay did it padless. Yeah, like you said, became the viral sensation of skateboarding for a couple days. Yeah, so far the, uh, the story has been transfer-wise, you know, that one big transfer into the spine. We've only seen one skater in Carl Berglund make that transfer, and that equates to him being in the lead. So I feel like once, of course, we see the select pros come through, yep. the bigger transfers, you know, guys like Raven, Pedro that really read the park differently. I saw are gonna Pedro open things up. and Tom Shar. I didn't want to give it away. I saw both of the go those guys 360 that gap in practice. So I think uh, in in later heats and tomorrow with the select guys, we're gonna see some serious stuff go down on that gap. Well, with that quick start we saw on the morning, unfortunately now we are on hold for rain delay and you know the look behind me there you see the live shot of beautiful Manly Beach, Australia. And it's definitely raining. I mean, <laughs> you can't really you know cover what? that fact out. But if you're gonna hang in the rain somewhere, you might as well be here in Manly. Take a look at that view. The water out there, it's about 75 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, it, it's been cool seeing uh, even just yesterday when we were l running a local women's contest, we were up here on the deck of the park and I looked out and I saw Pedro and all the Brazilians out there surfing right in front of the skate park. So yeah. it's been cool just to see all the boys hitting the waves every morning and afternoon. Well, of course, one of the best places we've seen yet on the Vans Park Series here in beautiful Manly Beach, Australia. And uh, now, you know, you get to see new places. You get to see new faces. One of the new faces that we're seeing for the entire tour, hopefully this year, the one and only Zion Wright is down on the deck with Chris Pastris. Thank you, boys. That's right. We've got the one and only Zion right here. Zion, I've watched you dismantle street contests for years. How's Vans Park Series differ for you? Uh, it's different because it's transition and stuff. And, but, yeah, and, like, like all the boys that skate in it, too, like, it's different. So, but, yeah, I like the whole, like, vibe of it. And just, like, just, like, big stuff, little stuff all mixed together. And so, like, everyone kind of gets, like, an opportunity to get in it and, like, mix it up. So it's, like, yeah. The brotherhood. Yeah, it's a vibe. It's a session. And I know a lot of people know you as a big contest skater, a big video part skater. What was it like making the transition to skating a park event like this? Did you warm up? Did you practice? Well, yeah, like I had like said like last year, I was like, oh, I want to like try to skate the Vans Park Series. And then like, yeah, I just started skating training a bunch more, just like trying to learn more tricks and then, yeah, like show what I got now. So, yeah. You're shredding, man. I don't think our viewers out there know how good you are on transition. So have you had any mentors? Has anyone learned you how to do those big Madonnas and big airs? Honestly, I grew up skating with Alex Urgente and like, watching him do like not I'm not gonna say all his tricks but like a good majority of his tricks you know I've like looked at him doing over the years and like all right like I'm gonna try to do him now you know so like yeah for sure Alex because like look up to him a lot yeah awesome and are we gonna have you on uh, the entire Vans Park Series year uh not the whole thing but I'm gonna for sure try to qualify so let's see where it goes yeah. gotta get those top three results how are you feeling about your chances this weekend I, I feel pretty good. Like, the course is good. Like, you know, I just got to pretty much stay on and just, like, fire it up. So, yeah, I feel good, yeah. Hopefully this weather cooperates with us. With us. Thank you, Zion. Good luck this weekend, brother. Back to you guys. Thank you, Pastris. Yeah, Zion, right? I mean, he has been really asserting himself in practice, and I think that's a big part of just getting to the comfort level that you see with our select pros. You know, they've, they've done it all before. So for a rookie like Zion Wright, to see what he's been capable of in practice, you know, and, you know, taking a lot of runs and right up there with, you know, Robin Boy and really Lara, just guys that are really not shying away from making full use of They're every hungry, practice man. opportunity. It's all about being hungry. And we did see Zion do a couple 540 attempts, yeah. a couple real close calls, but uh, I'm loving that you have guys that are, you know, known as street skaters really going, no, 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 
I'm an everything skater. Don Vanderlyn is one of them. Ashad Ware is one of them. Hey, Zion Wright's on that list as well. That's the coolest thing about skateboarding right now is because there are so many skate parks, there are so many good skate spots that kids just grow up skating everything. In, in my generation, we didn't really have all of those parks. We didn't have access. You were either a vert skater or you were a street skater. You know, then maybe there were Kids now just skate everything. It's so amazing. It's my, my favorite thing about skateboarding in 2017. Now we got about three quarters, a little bit more through. Heat number one of the uh, first heat on the day here. Stop number one on the Vans Park Series. So let's take a look at what we've seen so far. Two runs up in that 70 range. Now let's take a look at kind of the, uh, the benchmark thus far. Here we Virginia go, take a look. Virginia. Collins' best finish last year was fifth in Huntington Beach, starting it out with a tail grab to tail over the hip. Look at that, five -oh grind through the deep end pocket. Love seat gap up to Smith grind. Yeah, I've heard the love seat is tricky to get to, but Colin Graham looking like he had no problem navigating Run, the whole rock. That's a 10 and a half foot extension. It's about two, almost three meters. You know, how much does using the whole part come into play for the judges? Super important. Stalefish disaster in the deep end. Front rock slide. This is a great run by Colin. The Colin Graham, his bag of tricks. I mean, it is a bottomless pit. Wow. Ollie up to fourth slide. Fakey, that is time. Amazing start for Colin Graham. First run on the 2017 Park Series. Neil, what do you think? That was great. It's funny, just from watching Colin skate in practice, he's been ripping, but I think that's the longest run. You know, it's really hard in practice with all these guys dropping in in the different pockets. Probably the first time he's taken a 45 second run this whole week. So you're representing Embassy Skateboarders. Embassy Skateboards out of Texas. And uh, I'm liking it, Colin Graham. You know, he's definitely a, kind of a lone wolf. Carl Berglund, 17 years old from Malmo, Sweden. We've already given him most improved <laughs> yeah, from is, last year. He has come in so hot. Here we go, the first look at Carl Berglund in the 2017 Vans Park Series. I mean, Carl was ripping last year, but this year he's uh, he's been spending a lot of time in California skating with the boys, got the new park over in Malmo, and Carl has just been turning all of our heads the last few days in practice. So he's sticking pretty much to a line he's been practicing. I love that variation in his tricks, and, and he floats through his airs. Just like that. Solid body jar in the deep end. There's the eggplant. Perfect style on that one. Big frontside air disaster. And he is a quiet human on the deck, but a loud skateboarder slamming the coping. See if he's got something big at the end of this run. Probably one more trick. Slob plant off the giant tombstone. Back D revert. Another amazing run. <laughs> Bonus. Two wow. skaters, two perfect runs. Carl Berglin, so he is a rigorous educated skateboarder out of Malmo, Sweden. All right, Vincent Nathron, he's 18 years old from Marseille, France. Up over the spine. Back in, pumping. And I just love that line, and I can watch Air's frontside and or backside in that zone. It's funny, day. just with him being from Marseille, you know, Marseille has such a rad hip. I think all the skaters from Marseille are so good at blasting hips like that. Hey, this is a solid run. Right, 15 seconds to go. Front boneless on the peak. Oh my gosh, how did he hang, hang on to that? Got way over the bars over his front foot. Five seconds. Finish strong. Then you see the legs starting to burn. Yeah, that nice. was a solid run. You know, Vincent's going to want to clean the end of that run up. He really had a solid beginning of that run, but it looked like when he kind of missed his pump. As you guys can see, we're here in the athlete zone. The skaters are all hanging out. Super pumped to skate in our event this weekend, but we've got a rain hold. You can see the, the drops coming down pretty heavily behind me here. So we are gonna take a rain break. We will be back in 45 minutes. That's 12.30 if you're in Australia, 5.30 if you're back home in LA, and 8.30 if you're on the East Coast. So again, a short rain delay, and we will be back. Stick around, we'll see you then.
welcome back, Skate Fans to Vans Park Series 2017. Stop number one here in Manly Beach, just outside of Sydney, Australia. Chris Cote here with Neil Hendricks. One thing we know about each and every skater on the Vans Park Series is you have to have the ability to adapt, not just to various parks around the world, but also to weather. Literally just went on hold for about 20, 30 minutes. A couple different rain squalls came through. They've dried the park. Skaters are already back in practicing. It wouldn't be a Vans Park Series stop if it wasn't dodging raindrops. <laughs> it seemed to be a common theme last year in 2016. Looks like we're dealing with the same issues 2017. Guys just started practicing again. Uh, the tricky thing with this park is you can see uh, the, the concrete surface is, um, even when there's a little bit of moisture in it, you can you can skate on it. It's, it's still pretty grippy. The tricky thing right now is the decks. The decks of this park are wood, still a little bit slippery. You can see the guys working with the leaf blowers down there. We got the squeegee patrol out there. So the guys have done a great job getting the park back in order. I think we're gonna be able to have a skateboard contest. Yeah, I think what's gonna, be a big decider with who's going to continue to move on is being able to put the rain out of your mind. You know, the, the thought of having some slickness in this park just adds to kind of the danger element that these skateboarders are already facing. Skating a park that's, you know, nine and a half feet deep in the deep end. It's got a tombstone. This is this is an uh, uh, extremely fast, big skate park. These guys are flying. Add just one drop of yeah. moisture and things can go haywire. So let's talk a little bit about what we saw earlier, where we're gonna pick up right now, Carl Berglund from Sweden in the lead with a 78.64. Colin Graham, these guys are gonna have one more run at the end of our order. V Kikino is gonna have two more runs where we picked up when the rains first came in, was right when V was getting ready to roll in for his third run, so V is gonna have uh, two more runs, then the rest of the guys are gonna have one. You know, in looking at this positioning right now, the one through five, there's nothing really surprising to me. I knew Carl was gonna come in hot and do well. Um, I would like to see each and every skater get the opportunity to throw something in that 70 range on the board. Colin Graham, again, you know, he's super consistent, a 75.43. Nothing shocking in his run, but just a really yeah. solid run beginning to end. You know, the two guys that made their full 45 seconds really were Colin right. and Carl. Patrick Ryan made his whole run, but he got a little bit lost there at the end. You know, V and Vincent both didn't put together a full run. So I think that all of these guys could be able to improve their scores. Well, that's a good thing with this uh, four-run system. So each skater gets four opportunities to put up a score. They are scored on their best run only. We've got Colin Graham now back in the park. So Colin Graham, he has one more opportunity. Like you said, Vince, uh, Vincent Matheron and Vika Kino both have two more opportunities to drop their score. Unfortunately for uh, Vinicius Kakino, he was on the deck. He was ready. He literally had his trucks over the coping ready to drop in. We had to make the on hold. How do you bounce back from it, the height to the, hard the to dead stop? Back and, and it's even just warming up your muscles, you know? Those guys were warming up, you know, for an hour earlier, getting ready to go in the heat, and then they're shut down for like an hour, huddled up in the athlete's tent. And um, it's, it's pretty tricky just to get back into contest mode and just, you know, remember the line that you were trying and just to get your, get your body working right. Just from talking to some of the guys just in the break, these guys have been skating really hard the last few days so all these guys have some bumps and bruises you know their ice and knees ice and ankles ice and elbows down in the athlete tent so these guys uh, it's going to take a little bit of work to try and just answer the bell right now and drop a 45 second banger exactly and then you think that maybe the flip side of that for patrick ryan he hasn't had a really solid complete run yet maybe it's a good thing for him to restart speaking of restarting we're going to get this thing fired up right now vinicius Kakino, a skater from Florinopolis, Brazil. Regular footer, 19 years old. Everybody calls him V. He is a very popular guy on this tour. Hey, and V's second run was really, really good. He fell on the backsmith reaver in the corner. If he can make that run, he could be in the mix for sure. And we are on, folks. Thank you to the Squeegee Patrol for drying out this park. So our new guinea pig is Vinicius Kakino. Yeah. 
V can figure out if the park is dry enough for a skateboard contest. Look at this, solid run so far, taking it in the deep end with speed. Locked in the front Smith around the deep pocket, decking out the rock to Fakey. Fakey pivot to revert. It's a backside chink chink. You know, when he did that second run, I thought he was trying to bring it in. Wow, yes. back Smith, Reaver, what a close-up angle we had of that one. That is V. Kikino's best run so far, ending with the frontside nose blunt. Wow. We could have a new leader. That was a solid run. Not sure if that's going to be good enough for Carl Berglund's score, but that was solid. Well, that's the run he wanted. You know, those were all the tricks that he uh, was having trouble with in his previous two efforts. and. Luckily for Kakino as well, after putting together a run this good, he's got another opportunity. So what were some of your, that, that to me, that was yeah, the standout trick that's, in that run. That's the standout trick of the contest so far. That is such a gnarly trick. You see V still trying to stretch out. He's gonna have one more run. That was just his third run. And it's funny, just since the park got dry, I was looking over, you know, from our position, V didn't take any warm-up runs. I heard our on-deck announcers, Tim O'Connor and Ryan Clements, even asking him, hey, are you good? Are you ready? And he's like, I'm ready. He, I didn't see him drop in once during that rain delay. Now, judging on what the score comes through here, and it's a big one, a 77.18, coming off the strength of the backsmith revert. Now, let's say you have a backsmith planned in your run. You see V come through, revert out of it. Does that change your thinking in that trick? Hey, you're not gonna learn that trick on the fly <laughs> if you haven't done that a hundred times before like V has. Vincent Matheron, surfer from Marseille, France. He's got 45 seconds. Yeah, Vincent doing it for Marseille. Look at that hip, 540 nose grab over the hip. Just washing out. So Vincent Matheron, he's 18 years old. A rookie to uh, park skating competition. You know, the Marseille Park in France, probably one of the most famous skate parks in the world. Being a standout local there means yeah, you're very sure. good. And Vincent is, uh, you know, I, I talked to him earlier. He w got in this event as a wild card. So there were a couple of our challengers that uh, were invited here that couldn't make the trip. Ben Rayborn, I believe, is filming right now. Cody Lockwood couldn't make it for this stop. I think Cody's going to be join us in Brazil in a couple months. But uh, Vincent Matheron was able to get one of those wild card spots. So glad that he was able to make the trip. He's still in fourth with a 70.21. That last score is going to be a non-factor. Now this is Colin Graham's last chance towards qualification. He's got 38 seconds on the clock after that front side. Here we go, Neil. What does Colin Graham have for us? We saw in his third run, he tried to front blunt to Smith stall on the giant tombstone. If Colin can put that together, it'll up his score for sure. Here he is going for the tombstone. There it is, front blunt to Smith. Wow. That is so gnarly. There's like two and a half feet of vert on that gnarly section. Now he's just got to finish it off. Yeah, 10 seconds to go. Finish strong. Stale fish to Smith. Front rock slide. Best run for Colin Graham for sure. Wow, I love the fact that after he had done the hard work, with the big trick on the tombstone that you know you, you could almost see the relief yeah. in, in his run, the rest of his run after that front blunt Smith. I'm really curious to see what the judges put this one. Colin had a 75.43 on his first run. I feel like this run was probably a little bit better because of this trick right here. Look at that. That is so hard There's to pop out of the front blunt like that. Hot feet right there. That now, do you like to see clean front blunt, or does it does it bother you to see a Smith stall out of it? Um, they're, they're different tricks. I think it's hard to hit, you know, Smith, because you have to be really precise. Yeah, his score bumped up just Judges a little bit. 76.81, that's enough to uh, keep him in third place. Still in third place, but bumped up by about point and a half or so from his previous best run. Here's your current leader, Carl Berglund, his last run. He's got 45 seconds so far. He's been stunning with his first run. We'll see if he can put this together. Huge front side air to start us off. Notice he didn't go for the transfer onto the spine that time. Whoa. I love the pop out Way over the love seat. <laughs> yeah, that love seat. It, you have to grind so far to get over that thing. Oh, disaster, everything. Indie disaster, slot plant disaster. I'd love to see some of the invert variations that uh, Carl has. He's got a great eggplant. 
Wow, tail grab nose bump to revert to stretch. Yeah, a little bit of yoga on the flat bottom. Well, I think, I think Carl's most likely feeling pretty safe with that 78.64. That's the score to beat thus far. We're gonna see three more opportunities for, uh, we got Patrick Ryan, Kakina, and Matheron coming up next. Here's a replay of Carl's last run. Check out this boned out indie disaster. Then taking it front side on the next wall. Slob plant. Love how he's able to smack the disaster but still be able to keep his speed. I feel like as Carl has skating has matured the last couple of years, I feel like he's got a lot better at keeping his speed and, and just being able to pump those corners, blast some airs. 67.05, so his high score will stand. 78.64, so your current leader. This is Patrick Ryan from Fullerton, California's last chance. He's 19 years old. He's been in a million skate contests. You gotta tap into some of that experience right here. Oh, there's the transfer that Patrick fell on his first run. I was really worried about how slick that deck was, but Patrick handled it. I love that he went back to that transfer to start this Hey, run. this is the best run we've seen Patrick have. He had an early fall his first run, and then a pretty heavy slam on that boneless. This is the Patrick Ryan that we were waiting for. We've seen him killing it in practice all week. Maybe getting a little bit lost yes. right there. This is a great run. Lean tail slide in the deep end. Oh no, the front side air got away from him. That was his run. Wow. A lot of damage done early though. Yeah. A lot of tricks. You know what, there. for him, I'm stoked that he made that transfer because we saw he missed that early in his first run had a 13, and so I think just mentally that'll be really good for him, making that tricky transfer. Look at that front side grab, just got away from him. And even though he didn't finish, really only had about eight seconds left in that run, and again, I feel like he was going super fast, he fit a lot of tricks in. Really one of the only hey, people we've gonna, seen use those big transfers. It's gonna be a good score, but he's not gonna be joining us tomorrow. <laughs> when you look at these next couple heats and how stacked it is, Hopefully it'll be, uh, you know, hopefully he'll end up maybe in the top 10 today. And here we go, a 62.95, so the judges showing they really want to see you finish yep. your run. Fifth place, you know, right, so far. But again, I, I like that, that was kind of a rebate run for Patrick Ryan. And here we go, last run for Vince, Vinicius Kakino. Wow, you saw his foot way set up on the nose. Looked like he was just going for straight into the nose grind around the corner. He's not scared, is he? No, he, that was a pretty heavy slam too. You know, V made his last run. He had a 77.18 on the board. You saw that this run is kind of a throwaway with an 11.6. He's trying to get a little rebate right there just to, uh, he tried to nope. sneak one in there. He tried to sneak one in there, not happening. Our last skater of heat number one after the rain delay, it is Vincent Matheron, skater from France. His high score at 70.21, currently in fourth place. Gonna have to do some work. I love that little foot plant over the spine, pumping for speed. Pat always flying off on the 540, but that is a perfect 540 over the hip. Back lip into the shallow pocket. Body barrel to sugar cane. Backside boneless. Stay on, Vincent. Yeah, this is a great run. Love that uh, France is represented here is countryman Robin Bolian also in the contest. Backside sugar cane revert. We've seen that sugar cane a couple times. That's the first time I've seen it to revert. Fakey 5-0. This is a really good run for Vincent. We might have another guy in the high 70s from this heat. Wow, two seconds. So he stayed on now for 45 seconds. I love the just the variety of tricks. That's our first time, I think, ever in Vans Park Series competition. We've seen two sugar cane variations yeah. in one run. And you know what? I'm stoked for him just because he was here all week as a wild card. Wasn't even able to practice in the early practice sessions this week. He only got like one day of practice, so that is a good showing from Vincent Matheron. As we're waiting for scores, Vincent Matheron would have would have to do some uh, heavy groundwork to climb back into this thing, currently sitting in fourth place. And Carl Berlin, Berlin as it stands now, still in the lead. Here's a look back. 
Love that 540. That's that, that section right there just gives these guys that opportunity to launch and they can float. So Vincent Matherone's last run, a 75.58. It's enough to keep him in fourth place. Folks, we're gonna take a quick break, but do not go anywhere. Heavy hitting heat number two coming up. This is the Vans Park Series Global Qualifiers, Manly Beach, Australia. Stay tuned. Welcome back, skate fans of Sydney, Australia. We are live from Manly Beach. This is stop number one of the 2017 Vance Park Series. Chris Cote here with Neil Hendricks. We've got Chris Pastris down on the deck. This next heat is solid from the top to the bottom. Clay Kreiner, Kristen Rennie, Josh Borden, Willie Lara, and Keegan Palmer. We got vets, we got rookies, 13 year olds. We've got internet skateboarding viral sensations like Clay Kreiner has been the last few weeks with the crazy gap that he made at the Vans Combi Pool. Clay's first trip down to Australia, he said he's been having a blast the last three weeks. Had a good showing down at Bondi Bolarama. I think he ended up second place at Newcastle last week at the Australian yep. One Skateboarding trick. Championships. Yeah, so Clay's first trip to Australia. Stoked that he could join us here at Vans Park Series. So with Carl Berglund, 78.64. The benchmark has been set before we get into this next heat. Let's take a look back at heat number one. This heat took about an hour. It yeah. should have only taken about 10 minutes, but the fact that we had to stop mid-heat for the rain delay. It doesn't matter when you look at this recap, these dudes were shredding. Yeah, and I look at the scores and that those top four guys were really close. Carl, V. Caquino, Colin Graham, and Vincent Matheron were all between about a 78 and a 75. Unfortunately, Patrick Ryan was a bit lower with a 62. Patrick had that one amazing run, but he wasn't able to finish it out for 45 seconds. Vincent Matheron right here. Backside tail slide, grabbing the nose, almost washing out, holding on. What was the difference for you? Why was Carl's run just that much better? You know, I think it was, uh, we saw the transfer that he made, you know, did that tricky transfer onto the spine. Here's where the raindrops just started falling on V before his third run, but he came back strong after the break. Back Smith, revert. That love that angle too. You're, you you held yeah. your breath for a second. Did Look at that. Slam? That is such a gnarly trick. Nine and a half feet deep in that deep end. It's about three meters. V I'm, trying I'm to very, stretch. I'm happy for V. He's one of those guys you just yeah. you gotta love him. That's one of my favorite tricks of the contest. Front blunt to Smith stall. Colin Graham, stale fish to Smith. Such tricky lip trick combinations. So Colin Graham right now finds himself in third place at 76.81. Like you said, a very tight race so far with one, two, and three. Carl Berglund is our current leader, and just mentioned him earlier. We talked about the decks; they maybe have a little slickness left on them. But I'll tell you, there is one cool character down on the deck in the mix right now. Chris Pastris is down on the deck here in Manly Beach, Australia. So, Carl, in the booth, we've been joking all week. You're most improved. What's the difference between Vans Park Series this year and last year for you? Uh, not that much. I've just been skating a lot recently, and I mean, I, me, me myself, I can't see no difference from last year than this year. So we see a difference. Yeah. You're skating great. Thanks, dude. <laughs> I don't know what to say. And I know we had the championships last year in your hometown in Malmo. 
and you weren't in them. Is that a motivator for you this year? Oh yeah, for sure. Seeing all my homies shredded up and yeah, I've skated a bunch of times. But yeah, last time I skated it was the Vance Park Series the day before. So. And I know we talked a little bit off camera and you're escaping that Swedish winter. Where you been lately? Uh, I, I've been in Cal Carlsbad, California skating with Alex and Corey and all the homies. And You've been out here for a while too, right? Yeah, I've been here for a month now. So skating Bondi and I went on a Red Bull trip as well. No jet lag for Carl, you're shredding. I hope we see you in finals, Carl. Great style. Back to you guys in the booth. Thank you, Pastris. Yes, we, uh, we're seeing a, just an uptick in the confidence and the skills for Carl Berglund and 78.64. Do you think someone's gonna surpass 78.64, Neil? Uh, yeah, that's not going to end up being the top score of the day. Even looking at this heat, we got, you know, Clay Kreiner, Keegan Palmer, Trey Wood, Tom Shard, those guys coming up. That was a great performance from Carl Berglund. That's not going to stay on top all day. Heat number two, absolutely stacked. And we've got something for every skate fan out there in this next heat. Clay Kreiner from Simpsonville, South Carolina. Tristan Rennie from Rialto, California. Josh Borden from Orange, California. Willie Lara from Moore Park, California. And Keegan Palmer, the uh, standout from Corumban. And I'll tell you, this young Australian made a huge mark on the Vance Park Series in our first stop in Melbourne last year. Nearly won that event. Yeah, he killed it last year. Big difference though, he took the pads off this year. No pads and no helmet, kind of like the rest of the Park Series crew this year. So we'll see if Keegan can, still has those gnarly tricks with no pads and no helmet this year. Well, he's 13 years old and to be a kid that size, practicing in these heavy sessions with guys like Chris Russell, you know, guys like Josh Borden, who if they collided, he can evaporate. It's and been he's amazing. Been unafraid. Yeah, it's been amazing watching these sessions the last couple days. It's as if these guys have eyes in the back of their head. I've seen so many near collisions that guys were just able to swerve out of. It's uh, it's almost more exciting watching the practice sessions. Let's have some fun here, Neil. Why don't you give me your pick? Who's going to win this heat? I think Keegan will have the top score from this heat. Or right, I'm going Willie Lara. Yeah. Willie Lara yeah. coming off that in transition win. Uh, Thebarracks.com has an in transition series where they basically take eight skaters, put them in their local and or favorite skate park. They film a section and the uh, past champions vote. Willie Lara won that, but let's go to Clay Kreiner from South Carolina. Our first look at Clay on the Vans Park Series for 2017. Yeah, Clay's first Vans Park Series ever. Look at that huge boost over the hip. This guy's been blowing up in the last year. One vert attack over in Malmo. Did the big combi pull gap. That's the first 540 we've seen down in the deep end. How easy but was yeah, that for Clay? Everyone in skateboarding was talking about Clay Kreiner about a month ago when he did this impossible gap at the combi pool. And that was the uh, that was the clincher that got him the wild card into this contest also. Wow, well, so far, explosive skateboarding from Clay Kreiner. Can he hang on for five more seconds? See, Clay's got the knee brace. He hurt his knee out at the uh, Rumble at Ramona in about October of 2016. So he's uh, obviously been skating, but he said his knee's still bothering him a little bit, so he's running the knee brace. Wow, that's time for Clay Kreiner. What a way to start. Yeah, that was solid. I think Clay's got a little bit more in the bag also. One thing we knew we were going to get from Clay was just massive airs. He yeah. showed us that. What does he need to do? You, it, he, he's known as a vert guy yeah. primarily, but what does he need to do from what you've seen just you know, so the, far? The way that seconds? he skates, I think, kind of like what I mentioned about a couple of the other guys, I think maybe just a different transfer that no one else is doing. Tristan Rennie from Rialto, California. He is a challenger. He has been absolutely ripping in practice. He's super consistent. We'll see what he can do in 45 seconds. I love Tristan's style. He's got such loose trucks. He's just able to turn into all these corners and whip into lip tricks so easy. Look at that Whoa. disaster up on the side of the spine. I love when people put new tricks that we haven't even seen him in doing right. practice in their runs. Hey, this is a really good run. Tristan's fitting a lot of tricks into this 45 seconds. Big backside nose grab disaster. And looking at his sponsor list, Taco Dudes. Yeah, He's shout out taco to the Taco dudes. dudes. Big backside ollie right on the peak of the spine. Wow, that was a solid run right there. Wow, so Tristan's best result here in Advanced Park Series was sixth place in Huntington Beach, California, but you can tell. I mean, even after just one year on the Vans Park Series, looking like a 
Just a vet, so steady. Yeah, Heat 2 is coming in strong. We, uh, Clay Kreiner had an 80, a little bit of catch up on the scores. Wow. It's gonna be our first 80 of the day. Well, you were right. That's 78.64 from Carl Berglund. Didn't stand for long, did it? Clay Kreiner, now your leader with an 80.36. Josh Borden, 27 years old from Orange, California. Vance team rider, super stylish. It's funny, because I still think of Josh Borden as one of the young rippers, and he's kind of one of the veterans of the park series now. Compared to all these young guns, he's a grizzled vet. Love the rolling in the deep end. Oh, all the way down the escalator. Just yeah. lost that front truck. That was gonna be like 50 foot long grind. Looked like he had it the whole time and that front truck just washed out onto the deck. And that's unfortunate because I saw him do that about 20 times during practice. So new scores coming through and a new leader. Tristan Rennie now with an 82.78. Yeah, two, wow. two runs in heat number two, two skaters in the 80s. We told you heat two was heavy. Willie Lara, 18 years old, Moore Park, California, goofy foot. Vance team rider, Willie Lara has been. Yeah, this is someone that uh, we were joking about Carl Berglund maybe being most improved of 2017. Wow, do you see the footwork. foot placement on that backsmith? I was gonna say Willie Lara might be my vote for most improved. This guy has got so much better. Like you said, won the big barracks in transition video contest a couple weeks ago. And everyone has been talking about this guy's practice runs all week. He had a thrasher part as well that was ridiculous, some of the tricks he had. I that. just love his stance. He looks so cool on a skateboard. Big air rock to fakie. We call that the pogo. Oh, Cab oh, disaster oh, got away from him with four seconds to go. Wow. So <laughs> as we expected, heat number two has come in firing. A new leader, Tristan Rennie. What was it about Tristan's run that warranted that big score? Tristan fit a lot of tricks. If you just saw, he was just trick, trick, trick every wall. There wasn't a lot of setups. Check out little man. Keegan Palmer. Uh, remember you were kind of celebrating Keegan's skills last year when he was 12, and now he's 13. And, yeah. and he's, going, he's another just so improved skater. Look at that, 540 over the hip, no problem. Doesn't look, doesn't look nervous at all. I no, mean, 13 he is years just old. Cruising. Super floaty frontside ollie. Wow, that's an eggplant reaver. We call that one the burn twist after Bob Burnquist put his own spin on that one. And tricky frontside ollie. Had to squat out of that one. Hitting the tombstone now with a little backsmith stop. Nine seconds, so far so good for Keegan Palmer. Yeah, this is such a good run. Heat two is so gnarly. Keegan has uh, said he is wow. dedicated to the front entire side series. Invert. I saw Keegan working on that front side invert yesterday. That was not one that he was doing every try yesterday. Really solid first run for Keegan Palmer. And Willie Lara's last score, 69.96. Palmer comes through with 74.37. And just the leaderboard is being decimated yeah. as we speak. Yeah, see ya, Heat 1. All right, Clay Kreiner will be back to the coping. He's got 45 seconds. These skaters have four chances, four runs. If you fall, your run is over. What a rad way to start his run. All in, all the way over that first bank. What's the story with the knee Did brace? Did you see that? He went all the way hip to hip over the entire spine section. That's the first time we've seen someone do that. Yeah, the knee brace is, uh, he went down at Rumble at Ramona in October 2016. So he's been running the knee brace for a little bit. He says that he uh, can't knee slide when he skates vert and just still feels a little bit weak. So the knee brace kind of helps his confidence a bit. Do you think there is a spot in this park it would allow him to try that near impossible trick, kickflip body barrel 5-4. Oh yeah, for sure. He could definitely do that in this deep end. I haven't <laughs> and even... if he does do it, what will the judges give oh, that? Oh my gosh, look at that. Heel flip frontside air, getting away from him right at time. Another rad run from Clay Kreiner. And he, he's just exciting to watch. Look at there this. you see, 
he goes all the way to the other red coping. That's over the entire hip section. That was crazy. You know, the paint at that section kind of masks how yeah. big that is. And, and it's offset. Most guys have been doing airs over the hip onto the black. He was going all the way to the far hip, which is really, really hard and far. Well, this is your current leader, Tristan Rennie. His high score in 82.78. Yeah, starting look, with a huge boneless. Yeah, in the it corner. looks like Tristan switching his run up. Also, now that he's got a solid score in the bag, looks like he's going to try some different stuff. So, with these best run, best run counts, what do you do? It, it, do, you, do you like to stick to the run you have, or do you just kind of? Talking to most guys, I feel like they have one run in mind that they want to do, and if they make that, then they have a few other bonus tricks that they want to add in, or bonus lines that they want to add in. Everyone kind of goes into the contest with, in their mind, what they want to do. So far, I'm loving the commitment. Every skater has shown, every Smith grind wow. is super deep, dipped. I mean, that was another super good run from Tristan. Totally different line. Totally different tricks. Another 45 second solid run. And Tristan is a sleeper to win this whole thing. 78.25 for Tristan's second run. So not quite as high as he was his first run, but he's still in the lead with an 82.78. So as it stands now, Tristan Rennie in first place. Carl Bergman drops to third. Second place is Clay Kreiner. Josh Borden now with 45 seconds. We call that the Miller flip. It's kind of a Frontside 360 hand plant over the spine, all the way there down the roller in. coaster escalator. Hang on, Josh, this could be a good one. 25 seconds to go for Josh oh, Borden. Oh, man. Looks like maybe just projecting already into yeah, his next trick him, as he's landing. I saw him kind of looking towards the love seat. I think he was kind of looking where he was going, maybe lost sight of what he was doing at the moment. Man, it is a, it is a hard medium to figure out you know, focusing, concentrating on the trick at hand and also getting to the next wall. Now, Willie Lara, rapid fire skating here from stop number one here on the Vans Park Series. Wow, Lara, back in eighth sugar place. cane on the tombstone. Maybe one of the most stylish guys to currently be on the pro circuit. Look at that, Matana disaster. That is that so giant. hard. Like it was gonna be an Ollie Rock to fakey just got away from him. That was only like four or five tricks, but each one was buttery perfect. Billy Large gets a, a little bit over halfway through the 45 second run. He was allotted, but again, my favorite part about Willie Lara, the stance. Oh, that knock knee stance, legs close together. How about his first run when he did the backsmith through the corner and, and just adjusted his, his even foot? More. Crazy. All right. Last score for Willie Lara, 47.66. Now we're going to take another look at Keegan Palmer, 13 years old from Corumbin, Australia. has been a standout in the practices. See if he can put together this run. Yeah, little man put together a really good one. I feel like he's maybe going to need to try and keep his speed up a little bit more. Oh, Smith grind over the love seat, got away from him. You know, I, this is one of those instances where Unfortunately, size is going against him. It's just a matter of pumping through these big transitions. And look at look at Keegan compared to you know Josh Borden. He's right. Literally half as tall. You know that will affect the power that he's able to generate into these corners. Clay Kreiner, on the other hand, he is built for a park like this. Here we go. 45 seconds. The clock starts when you clear the coping. I love the way he starts that run. Really getting a lot of speed. Huge tweaked Jeez. out, little tailbone on the front side tweaker, full speed into the deep end. Wow, looked like he almost hung up. You saw him really have to squat out, stale fish to wow. tail slide. That's a new one. Clay Kreiner so far so good. He's got 19 seconds left. Wow, totally inverted on the eggplant. There's the heel flip front side air. I love that he's just hanging on to every tree. He is hanging on got. for dear life. He is so lost right now. He doesn't know where he's going. Five seconds. Going for the half gay twist. It's a half cap mute grab coming in fakey right at time. He's already an got an insane a, run for yeah, play again. Look at that. Heel flip front side air. Shout out to Omar Hassan. Did that one in all the park contests for years and years. So Clay Reiner, he's got an 85.26.
coming across the board. Our next skater. And that's gonna be it for Clay Kreiner. He's gonna be your first place skater now with an 85-2-6, and he's got one more opportunity. Yeah, that's huge. And I know that Tristan also just heard the announcers call that out, that he just got bumped out of, look at this. Blunt slide in off the spine. The first time we've seen someone do a lip trick off the spine into the park. Everybody's been saving tricks from practice. Totally. There's about half the tricks I've seen already that weren't even looked at during practice. Look at that, stand up nose grind. Oh my gosh, he kind of had to save that one. Are we giving it to him? Yeah, that's uh... That was safe, he saved it. The judges are gonna definitely you know, take a look yeah, at that Yeah, it's gonna one. hurt him in the scores, but it's not counted as a fall. Look, he's gonna get another shot at it. That is such an amazing angle of that stand-up nose Perfect. grind. Five seconds to go for Tristan Reddy, currently in second place. That's gonna be time. Invert, revert. Tristan has done time. completely different lines every one of his runs. Completely different tricks. Maybe Looking one of the, like, he might have one of the deepest bag of tricks right now in Park Series. Look at that, blunt slide. He just and yanked that thing. Yeah, in. and that parking block on top of the spine is really grippy. I heard a lot of the guys saying it was really hard to get that thing to slide. Sometimes not having a plan is the best plan, and that looks like what's going on with uh, Tristan Reddy right now. His high score, an 82.78. Yeah. That last run was a 70... 78. I think that one kind of near fall yeah. took him out. Josh Borden. I love the way Josh starts that run. Miller flip over the spine is so rad. Then taking a ride on the roller coaster. Josh really is a skater's skater. He is, man. He's so he, smooth and powerful. Oh, uh, it looked like he was going for a layback on the big tombstone. You know, last year at the Australian stop down in Melbourne on this qualifying day, Josh ended up being in the top spot going into the semis for the next day. He, uh, the select pros weren't in the contest, but Tom, uh, Josh came out on top. Willie Lara currently sitting at eighth place. His last run a 47.66 due to fall about halfway through. He's got 45 seconds, and the more Willie Lara that we see, the better. Man, I could watch, watch Willie all day. I love just, oh, look at that sugar cane. Tweaking out the front side ollie over the bank. Coolest stance in park skateboarding. The way that toe is pointed just looks cool. Oh my gosh, that's the trick that we were talking about where he just slides his foot back a little bit. Yeah, he's bummed, because he knows. I mean, he does that yeah, every run. Yeah, he does run. that so trick easy. in his sleep. It, it's tricky though in, in contests. Sometimes the way that he skates, it's just really minute adjustments of the foot. Well, with 45 seconds, third run for Keegan Palmer, 13 years old, from in Australia. Oh no, the slob grab got away from him. He was doing different grabs over that hip. His first run, he did a stale fish. Last run, he did a frontside ollie. Looked like he was going for a slob that time, and he was uh, he was definitely way over the deck. Looked like he was gonna hang up. Leaderboard safe so far. Clay Kreiner, first place. Tristan Rennie, second place. There's our one and two skateboarders giving knucks before Clay's final run here in heat two. We'll see if Clay Kreiner could improve on the highest score of the morning so far in 85.26. Look at that. Oh, he was going again all the way over both hips. It, it Look, looks like it's all or nothing for yeah. Clay when he skates. And that time, he was that's the fastest he's hit that hip. He was definitely going, going for broke that time. Well, that'll be it in this heat for Clay Kreiner, but he is your current leader. Tristan Rennie now in second place. His high score at 82.78. We'll see. If Tristan can improve. Hey, if Tristan can clean his run up a little bit, we've seen he's got three really good runs. His last run, wow, he grinded up the side of the spine. A sneaky little one foot on his uh, opening. Hey, he's Ollie. been holding all these lines, you know, four runs, four completely different lines. If this heat was overall impression, Tristan Rennie's winning by a mile. Backside Ollie right on the peak of the spine. Up the big tombstone. Even just the, the subtle little transition moves like that. Right. Grind over into the low. 
section. Front feeble through the pocket. Blunt into the shallow pocket. Like that. Like, who would expect this, that? This could be another score in the 80s. It's just been so many tricks. Backside air disaster on the wow. peak. That thing is 10 <laughs> inches wide. That is it barely, barely fits than a, a skateboard on there. Now, this is where you don't want to be a judge. Because hey, you look at that you know run what? compared to Clay Kreiner's run. Totally I think that different. beats it. I think that's our new leader. I love Clay, but the amount of tricks that Tristan just put in, I think that's your new leader. And where he put him. Look at that. 10 inches wide, right on the edge, backside air disaster. Comes through, it's gonna be an 82.40. Nope. Judges do not agree, Tristan's in second. So maybe it was the difference right, between the speed, the uh, just the hype factor yep. that got a uh, play. I so love second place, and that score is gonna make him feel very safe. Josh, Josh Porter now. Taking a ride on the escalator right here, all the way down, pool coping to metal coping, grinding it all. I want to see this run taken down to the wire here. 27 seconds to go. Ollie and into the Indy nose pick. Cool little different trick on the tombstone. Josh got a little lost, gonna restart right here. Wow, backside 360 Ollie to lip slide. This one is for the crowd. That will count as a fall, unfortunately. Big backside disaster. Josh right, Borden two two. <laughs> snapping the board on the Ollie Rock to Fakey. He is done. Hit the showers, buddy. Yeah, it's most likely all we're going to see from Josh Borden currently in 10th place. Last chance for Willie Lara. He's sitting in 8th place. He's yet to put together a full run. We would love to see Willie Lara advance through. Oh, that was cool. It looked like he ollied up into the rock and roll. Really, Willie's got such a rad, just loose, light-footed style. I think he's changed his run up. Yeah, he's here. changing his run. You know, his run hasn't really worked out for him yet. There's the pogo to fakey. That is such a rad one. Cab back there disaster. We, that's the combo we want, may have been wanting to see. Hey, this could be Willie Lara's run. Back tail on the shallow section. All right, 10 seconds, Willie. Hang on. Keep it going, Willie. There's that sugar cane. Four seconds to go. I love that little shifty on the ollie. Probably gonna have one more last trick right here. Crail slide. Wow, Madonna. Yeah, Willie Lara putting it together when it counts. Thank you, Willie Lara. So sitting in eighth place, Willie Lara, his highest score so far, a 69.96. What do you think, Neil? He's gonna bump up far. He's in the 80s. Bam. Third place, 80.66. So Willie Lara, that's why we love the four-run system. He fell on three runs. He puts it together in his final run. That's enough to get him up into third place. Hey, remember when we were thinking Carl Berglund was chilling into the semifinals yeah, tomorrow? Now he's in fourth. He's in fourth with two gnarly heats to go. Wow, so now it's looking like if you're not in the mid-80s, you're heading home. Keegan Palmer now, he's in eighth place. He needs a 76.82 to advance. Yeah, he made 540 that. 540's on loss. Slob air and then the 540 over the hip. I think Keegan's just going to need to keep his speed like the big dogs, taking the front foot off on the lean air. Look at this, see if he does the burn twist. That's the eggplant revert. We call it the burn twist because Bob Burnquist kind of put his own spin on that trick. Front side ollie up on the side of the spine. Little baby eggplant. Got about 10 seconds to go, Keegan. Yeah, backside 360, taking it to Fakey into the deep end. Kind of losing his speed a little bit. Solid run for that Keegan was. Palmer. 13 years old, one of our youngest competitors. Absolutely hanging in there with the big dogs. But the subtle differences could just be the speed, the height of the airs. Yeah. But I love the run that Keegan Palmer just put together. We're going to take a quick break. Do not go anywhere. Heat number three, yet again. An incredible lineup of skaters. You're watching the Vans Park Series. We're live from Sydney, Australia. Do not go anywhere. We'll be right back.
Welcome back, skate fans. We are live from Manly Beach here in Sydney, Australia. This is stop number one on the Vans Park Series. Chris Cote here with Neil Hendricks. We are into our third heat, flying by, Neil. Yeah, stoked that we were able to avoid the rain for a little bit. Looks like we're gonna get this in. We're moving on to, we're halfway through our qualifiers. Two heats down, two heats to go. And uh, heat two was gnarly. Top three scores of the day, all going to skaters from the second heat. So, Clay Kreiner, what was it about his run that you, do you think really grabbed the judge's attention? It was high speed, you know, doing that transfer over both hips, doing the big 540 in the deep end, heel flip frontside air over the hip, you know, everyone's doing just, you know, different grabs over that hip, but just to do a heel flip, um, it was just fast and gnarly. Adding tech skills to the Ross Savagery. Totally. Well, the fans are out in full force here in Manly Beach, Australia. As you see, the park appears to be dry as a bone now. Thank you to our park crew for drying off. There's our judges yeah. on the deck. Check it out. That's head judge Jason Rothmeyer and uh, Australian Renton Miller, along with Kyle Burrard right there on the left. Taking a yawn, a little jet lag for the Americans coming down here. But those three guys know what they're talking about. Now, can you imagine if you could make one skateboarder out of the, those three guys, the skills you would have? You would yeah. have the best skater in the world. Right hey, uh, Renton made the finals at Bondi Bolarama in the Masters Division just two weeks ago. And, and Kyle Berard, he's got his own concrete skate park company called Front Rock, but he still rips parks like this. Kyle Berard could, could be in this event. Here's a heat recap from Heat 2. It was Tristan Rennie and Clay Kreiner. Kreiner being the standouts. I was so impressed that Tristan did a different run every time. Totally different lines, totally different tricks. This guy's turned into someone that's got one of the deepest bags of tricks of all the skaters in the park series. I love the way that Clay was starting that run full speed, blasting over the hip. Everyone's doing airs over that black hip. Clay's going higher than anyone. Now, they don't skate too much alike, but demeanor-wise, Tristan and Clay, they remind me of each other. They're like silent assassins coming a in A little bit, but Tristan has a lot looser trucks. He's kind of a backyard pool skater where he's able to skate really tight trannies. And Clay's still more of a vert dog. You'll see him blasting, doing those 540s in the deep end. He's full speed ahead, isn't he? But this is probably the most stylish dude in the contest, Willie Lara. Such a rad steez. We were talking about the foot placement. Back sugar cane on the tombstone. Frontside ollie, kind of shifty style. Well, Willie Lara kind of saved himself that his last run. He came through with an 80.66. That's enough to get him in third place. We got Chris Pastris on the deck with Clay Kreiner. So Clay, you've got our highest score of the day so far. Congratulations. How are you feeling after those runs? Man, I'm just stoked to have uh, at least made one run, skate uh, how I wanted to skate, and um, there's a few things that I wanted to make but didn't, but um, hopefully my scores may hold and I can make it on to tomorrow. 85's looking pretty good, and you had that 540 where you landed just at coping. How, how are your nerves feeling after a run like that? Uh, man, my nerves before my run are worse. It's uh. I get the contest jitters, and the moment I drop in, it's all kind of gone, and it's just full send it mode, and uh, man, just stoked to be here, so I was like, you know what, I'm hanging on for dear life on this one. Speaking of nerves and contests, you're coming off Bolarama, where you play seventh, and then last weekend, the Australian Bull Riders contest, where you play second. Is that momentum helping you here at Vans Park Series? Uh, man, just the momentum of the whole trip has been awesome. Uh, the moment I stepped off the plane, this place has been unreal. Uh, back to back to back contest each week. It's, uh, there's been no time for the energy to leave. So it's just been here since the moment I got here and uh, try and keep it going. All right, we're enjoying it. So are we gonna see you at our Continental Championships? I know you're a wild card here. You gonna be skating for the Americas this year? Yeah, man, I am an event wild card out here in Australia. Just happened to be out for the event and was lucky enough to get a spot. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully I make it out to America. I'm assuming that I will be there, try my best, make it out to another event. And in the meantime, hope you make it to finals and good luck, my man. Back to you guys. Thanks, Pastor's Clay Kreider making his uh, intentions known with uh, not just one, but yeah. three really solid runs. Pretty good Park Series debut. Here's your standings. Right now, halfway through this qualifier day, Clay Kreiner in the lead, Tristan Rennie in second, Willie Lara in third, Carl Berglund hanging on in fourth, Vinicius 
Aquino and Colton Graham in the dangerous fifth and sixth place yeah. spots. What do you think? Where Where is the cut well, it's, going to lie on it's this? It's looking like since we're halfway through and we're taking six, I think you're going to need to be in the 80s. So I think Carl and uh, V. Kikino are going to be on the hot seat. An incredible heat coming up. I love this matchup. Starting off with CJ Collins and Roman Popovich. You guys have been skating together for a long time now, both young teenagers. Tom Shar, Bowman Hansen, and Trey Wood. Look at this, this is a good mix of skaters at right here At the beginning well. of the broadcast, we talked about this being an important year for the young blood of the Vans Park Series, and we are gonna see it with the first two skaters in this heat. CJ Collins and Roman Pavich are two of the gnarliest kids. You know, we saw Keegan Palmer in the last heat, but CJ Collins and Robin Pavich are so gnarly for their age. You know, CJ has been winning practices all week and becoming the favorite skater to a lot of people in the stands, to a lot of us, and probably scaring a lot of the vets in this competition. Here's our first look at CJ Collins, 13 years old, first timer here at Vance Park Series. Look how freaking cool he is. He's got a Hawaiian shirt with one button at the top. Like, were you that cool when you were 13, Kote? Absolutely not. You're I don't not know anyone that was. You're not that cool now. I mean, I'm not that cool it's, now. It's a boss, but tell me about his trucks. They're, they're basically wow. not even bolted Did you off. see that stand-up nose grind? Backside 360 Ollie, kind of losing his speed going backwards right there. Going to need to try and pump and get his speed back. No comply disaster. He's still going. A little bit lost. Probably going to have time for one more trick. Loose, wild style. Just recently put on the Toy Machine program. He's a Vans team rider. Yeah, he's got a bunch of new sponsors. People are trying to jump on the CJ train. I, I want to be on this bandwagon. Hey, I'm he's on like it. my new favorite. I'm absolutely on it. He's 13 years old, so one of our youngest competitors. And uh, there's Roman Pavic right there. 74.07 ninth place for CJ Collins. Not bad for a run that no. looked like he was giving it about 15% yeah. of what we've seen. And here goes Roman Pavic right now. He's got 45 seconds. Roman's 15 years old from Ocean City, Maryland. Roman's got the nose grab, 540. Perfect over the hip. Roman has had some Vance Park series. Experience. He won the Shred Malmo Finals in 2016. That was like a precursor to the Global Championships. Yeah, check this out. Roman's originally from Ocean City, Maryland. Now spending a lot of time on the West Coast with the boys in, uh, I believe, like Oceanside, California. Backside Ollie. Ten seconds to go. Under the bank. Oh, the tail grab nose bonk did not lock into the coping. That's going to be it for Roman Pavic. Maybe just a little bit of confusion going into that run. I think he was surprised that he was still on his board. All those gnarly tricks in the deep end, you know, I mentioned it before. A lot of these guys have been practicing the beginning of their run and then uh, kind of just winging it at the end. Tom Shar, originally from Malibu, now living in Encinitas. He's 17 years old at 12 years old. He's dropping 1080s. I love now he's dedicating himself to the Vance Park Series. I love Love how fast Tom has been skating this park. Look at that. Nose grab 360. There's an NBD for you. Yeah, we've only seen like two people wow. do that transfer. Tom just 360 did. This run is so gnarly. Wow. 20 seconds to go. Tom Shar is on fire. <laughs> how is he not even rail? halfway through this run with already that many tricks? Look at that. Nose grab disaster on the tombstone. Another lofty backside ollie. He has done so, he's skating so fast. He's done so many tricks. Front feeble through the corner, front blunt. That will be your new leader. I can guarantee it. Are you kidding me with the beginning of this run? Tom Shaw just hey, sucker punched this part. That run could be a 90. Going. Why he's not? still going. I'd give that run a 90. That's the gnarliest thing we've seen all week. The, the, five, the, the 540 combo was crazy. That was rapid fire. I mean, look, he is just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Look at this transfer. 
I saw him do those a couple times in practice. This one that he just did was actually way cleaner than he did it in practice. And what you can't see right there is these are all linked together. This was all basically yeah. one line. That 360 into the 540 into that backside air. That was, I'm that, speechless right I, now. With I Tom can't Shark. imagine. You're right, a 90. 90.00. Tom we Shark barely now. had guys in the 80s. Now we have someone with a 90. That is going to be the mark to beat for the week. Your new leader is Tom Shar, who uh, at 17 years young could be considered the, a veteran. Now the, he's holding off the young blood. The cool thing about that, it wasn't all just big airs. He did some really gnarly lip tricks. Bowman Hansen from New Zealand. Bowman. Yeah, I believe Bowman's living down in Melbourne. Australia now, but we, uh, we wanted to make sure to get some of the regional rippers the wild card spot into this contest, and that is why we were able to get Bowman into the challenger round here. Bowman competed with us in the Melbourne Park Series. He's been using Bolarama, so no stranger to park competition. That was gnarly. Ollie frontside grind to fakey up the giant tombstone before he fell off. So Bowman got probably about halfway through. I believe Bowman competed as well in our uh, Tough story with Trey Wood. Trey dislocated his thumb about two hours ago. A minute before this contest. Yeah, he was supposed to be in the first heat. We bumped him to the third heat to give him a little bit of time to ice it. So Trey Wood, Queens Creek. Here we go. He's 16 years old. And it doesn't yeah. look like he's going to let this dislocated That's thumb amazing. hold him back. He was able to grab his board with the thumb that was dislocated. He was on our list as top three to watch. Hey, he still could be. Look at this run. Big body jar. I talked to him right before this heat. He did not even know if he could grab his board. Is that what happened right there? Was that the dislocated thumb hand that missed the grab? It was, but he showed just from the first couple tricks. He did the indie transfer and then the frontside air over the hip. He showed that he could grab. You can see him talking to Tom right there. Just looks like he is just struggling a little bit. Such tricky timing. He slammed on his left wrist a couple days ago. He's been taping his wrist all week and then dislocated his right thumb right before the contest, so walking wounded. We're back to the top of our, wow. top of our heat three board with CJ Collins. Front nose blunt on the spine peak, right into back nose blunt. alley -oop Ollie in the deep end. Check out CJ Collins, the front blunt got away. I love that he's shocked when he falls, because he rarely falls. I can't even believe he did a frontside nose blunt on the peak of the spine, that little narrow 10-inch section that we were talking about. It's about the width of a shoe. So CJ Collins unable to make full use of his 45-second run. Roman Pavich now. Second run for Roman Pavich. The little dudes of Heat 3, CJ and Roman, are currently in 10th and 11th, so need a little bit of work to bump up into the cup for tomorrow. Oh, man, we saw Roman do that transfer pretty easily the last couple of days. Unfortunately, he goes down there. Not even really able to get his run started. So Tom Shar, who just silenced this crowd with a crazy opening run, got himself a 90. Tom Shar now. Tom, 45 seconds Tom's on the board. just able to have fun right now. Look, he's kind of just like, what am I gonna do? Back stale transfer, 360. <laughs> just switching it up. That's one. Oh, kickflip bendy. He, you know what he was thinking? He's like, I could chuck this kickflip bendy under me, but I probably am gonna be in the finals tomorrow, so I don't want to slam my brains out. Well. Call it again, so Tom Shar looks like he he's holding his hand up. Did I was I supposed to go? So a bit of confusion on the deck. Yeah, I believe I believe it just started drizzling again. So uh, yeah, a little bit of drizzle. So I believe that's why Tom Tom was holding his arms up. Luckily. You know, it looks like the rain might have affected him in that run. I don't think it's going to matter because he has a 90 on the board. If it was, um, if it was someone else, uh, we would probably give them a rerun. Wow, so just about halfway through heat number three, 
We're hoping this is just another brief hold. These little rain squalls have been popping through, but I mean, as you can see, it, it doesn't take long to dry off this park, and hopefully this is just a quick passing storm. But we're gonna go on hold just briefly. Do not go anywhere. Don't, you're not gonna wanna go anywhere when skaters are dropping 90s. Right, yeah, that's, that's I'm, the rule of thumb here at Park I'm Series. just looking over my shoulder right now. It doesn't look as heavy of a rain as we had earlier. Just a light drizzle, so hopefully we're not going to completely lose the park, be able to get back on in just a little while. But how about that 90 that Tom threw down? I mean, to me it's all about that three-trick combo because that, right. that just set the tone. And it was like a slap in the face to yeah. wake you up. Like, whoa, it what is Tom cool Shower doing After right he here? made the 360 transfer on the spine, he ollied into the shallow pocket and just pumped. Hey, Gave him a you know, just, Yeah, time. like you said, it was just the combo. He ollied into the shallow pocket and just pumped into that 540 in the deep end. You know, when Tom yeah. Shar is on, he, he, he's like a freight train. Yeah. And we've seen it in past Park Series events. He had 11th. In the global at the Vance Park Series Global Championships in Malmo, he got fourth in Huntington Beach, so he knows how to put it together in contests. Yeah, and he, he's still adding to his bag of tricks. You know, I saw him do some some tricks in practice I'd never seen him do. You even saw, you know, he was he was known for being a guy that was really good at spins and airs. But you look in that run, he did a really good nose grind standing up. You know, did some really cool lip tricks. He's got, you know, such solid backside ollies. I think he's just developing, you know, more power. Yeah, and that's I've, allowing him to get more speed to just hit, hammer it hard. Yeah, I think Trey Wood is in that same boat also. Trey is just, as he's got older, got a bigger bag of tricks, got more powerful, skating faster, higher. So far, so good. We've had some brief rain delays, but I'll tell you, the skating has been on fire. That's probably why the park is drying so fast after these rain delays. Everyone showed up today. Everyone's just hammering down tricks. Tom Shar is your current leader with a 90. What is hey. what has made him stand out above the field? Yeah, that run was unbelievable. We talked about the big transfer, but it was just linking together trick after trick after trick. There was no really like carving around setups. He was just hammering tricks full speed, lip tricks, air tricks, spin tricks. He hit every inch of the park. We're going to take a quick break. We will be right back. Do not go anywhere. This is stop number one of the 2017 Vans Park Series. We're live from Sydney. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back, skate fans. As you can see, we've got a clearing on the horizon. We are live in Manly Beach, Sydney, Australia. Stop number one on the Vans Park Series 2017. Chris Cote here with Neil Hendricks. And we will finish this contest today. We will pick our six qualifiers before this day is done. We've got 20 skaters from all around the globe trying to make day number two, which would be semifinals and finals here at stop number one of the Vans Park Series. We think Tom Shar is pretty much a lock to hey, qualify. We're gonna take a at, look at Tom's Out of this now. rain delay, he is over there chilling. There's like four or five other guys that are sweating because they haven't made their run yet and they got a couple more chances. Tom is chilling. Well, the check is in the mail so far for Tom Shar. Take a look at why Tom Shar's run has been your number one run of the day.
It's funny that our judges just came over. We just talked to our head judge, Jason Rothmeyer, and we said, hey, why'd Tom get a 90? And he said, everything. It was perfect. Full speed, good style, hard tricks. Look at that frontside ollie in the deep end. Little lean melon grab all the way over the bank. Backside crail on the tombstone, popping out of the front blunt. You know, it wasn't just trick selection, how hard the tricks were, but it was the energy. It was the excitement of that run. And all of our judges, they're skate fans, just and like all of you watching. That run got them fired up. You know what's up. cool? There, there were times before when Tom's, Tom's always been so good, but there's times when his skating was predictable. And just seeing some of those tricks, I hadn't seen him do the back crail on the tombstone. I hadn't seen him do the no comply tail slide in the deep end. He's getting more confident, he's learning more tricks, and you can see it in his contest skating. And there you see your qualifiers, your current top five. I would say for the rest of this heat, I would really, I would never underestimate Trey Wood. Trey Wood yeah. may be injured, but from what we've seen him doing throughout our practice days, Trey Wood has you know, been insanely the, good. The first two tricks in his run is what I was worried about, if he could grab with that thumb. If you missed it earlier, Trey has just been, you know, killing it in practice all week, dislocated his thumb just right before the contest. And when I say dislocated his thumb, his thumb was like crooked, Z-shaped, pointed sideways right before the contest. So Trey was getting looked at by medical. We bumped him over into the third heat. He was supposed to be in the first heat. So he had a little bit of time to ice it. Uh, the last time I talked to him, right before he was going out, he said, I have no idea if I can grab my board. He said, I was supposed to do an indie grab and front side grab in my run. I might just try and grab the nose. I never do that. and so. He was able to do the grabs, so I feel like Trey might be able to put it together and still do the line that he was planning. Well, there you see the park got a little dousing again. The next update, folks, will be at 2.40 p.m. Australian time. Just another quick hold for our rain delay, but like I said, don't go anywhere. This park dries in an instant, so we're going to take a break here. We're gonna go on hold, but do not go anywhere. 2.40 p.m., we will be back with a dry skate park, and we will get our six qualifiers going into the semifinals tomorrow. This is Vance Park Series 2017, live from Sydney, Australia. Welcome back once again to Manly Beach here in Sydney, Australia. Stop number one on the 2017 Vans Park Series. The rain delay is over just as we expected. This park dried up quick, but the big news here is there has been a Char attack on yeah. the beach here at Manly. We're gonna try this again, but we had Char put a 90 on the board. Haven't even seen anyone sniff a 90 all day. Tom Char put down what so far has been the run of the week. The run of the week, no doubt a perfect 90. And Tom Shar is uh, not even halfway done. He's got two more runs to go. Here's where we are. This is qualifiers. Heat number three, CJ Collins, Roman Pavich, Tom Shar, Bowman Hansen, and Trey Wood. So uh, we're gonna have Bowman Hansen coming up next and Trey Wood just immediately following him. So another brief delay, but we're right back into it, Neil. Yeah, and to give you a quick update, we got the course crew out there drying the course, and the good thing is the guys from the border that are running this event along with Vans, they're checking with all the skaters just to get a thumbs up from all the skaters that they're comfortable with the park course before they drop in for their run. There's still a couple of wet spots on the deck I see the guys working on right now just to get that dried up. The concrete part is perfectly good. There's just some wood parts on the deck that are a little bit wet that they're drying. See, they're even working on a bit of the coping right there. Some really gnarly uh, 
edges on the coping blocks. There's our leaderboard yes. as we sit. These are your current standings for our qualifiers. One through six will, at this point, be making it through. We've got a lot of heavy hitters yet to come. Tom Shard in the lead, Clay Kreiner in second, Tristan Rennie with an 82.78. Top three, most likely feeling pretty safe. Willie Lara with an 80.66, then things get dicey. Carl Berglund with a 78.64. Vinicius Kakino, he's been in this position before, qualifying at the halfway mark, but the 77, 78, most likely we're thinking you're gonna have to be up in the 80s yeah. to advance. The one guy that we saw on that list, CJ Collins in 10th spot, is still gonna have a couple more runs. CJ started out amazing his last run, did a front side nose blunt on the peak of the spine to start his run. So if CJ puts a whole run of bangers like that, he could be in the 80s for sure. So we've just been updated that Tom Shar's previous run right on that rain delay did get scored. It was a 43.21, and wasn't a complete run for Tom Shar, but of course, sitting on that 90. There you see the prep work there. Pretty cool that yeah, this spark is uh, what maintained that is, by is, the minute. Yeah, you see those pool coping blocks. Is there's a grout in between the pool coping blocks as, as it gets skated all week. And we also have a BMX contest going on at this contest also. The BMX pegs kind of grind into the, the grout in between those blocks and kind of create some seams. So we've had the California Skate Parks guys out here kind of doing some maintenance the last couple days as those blocks got ground down. You know, the first day when they set the blocks, they're just buttery perfect. But then as it gets grinded up over a couple days, you might have some seams develop. All right, now we are right back into it from Topo, New Zealand. Bowman Hansen, 24 years old. He's got a full 45 seconds on the clock. His first run was just uh, at 4596. Benny Hanna in the house. Who brought the Benny Hanna? Bowman Hansen brought the Benny Hanna. So Bowman Hansen, we've seen him in the uh, Melbourne Vance Park Series event. He's been in Bolarama, so no stranger to park competition. Wow, hanging up on the spine, hanging on. No complied tail slide that was into cool. the shallow pocket. That was really cool. Man, his feet have been flying off his board about five times on this run. Rad, loose run, stale fish over the hip. That's gonna be time for Bowman Hansen. Currently in 15th place with a 45. He's gonna up that score for sure. Solid run for Bowman coming through at a, a regional wild card. He is a one of four wild cards. Generally, there will only be two wild cards. We had a couple of skaters that uh, couldn't come to this particular event, so we have four wild cards. I like the more wild cards. Yeah, for sure. A couple of the uh, Park Series skaters. Um, Ishad Ware is competing in Tampa Pro, couldn't make it. Also, a couple of the challengers, Ben Rayborn and Cody Lockwood, who were invited. Um, couldn't make it. I believe Ben Rayborn is filming and Cody Lockwood um, was just trying to get some sponsor support for the rest of the tour, so wasn't able to make it down. We'll see those guys in Brazil the next stop, hopefully. Bowman Hansen has improved to 69.50. It's enough to get him in 12th right. place. Now Trey Wood will be our next skater. So Trey with the double thumb braces. Just dislocated his thumb earlier this morning. You know, it will not affect him. He's got 45 seconds. I was watching Trey in practice just now. It looked like he was trying to grab some stuff with the other hand. So I feel like Trey might have some other options if that thumb is bothering him. Look at that transfer. He did the same thing Clay did all the way over both hips. And all his tricks are done so proper. Nothing is a half step with Trey Wood. Yeah, he, he's got so much. As he's grown bigger, a lot more style, speed, and power in his skating. Kick flip, lean melon. That was looking like a really good run. That was a really good run. I'm, I'm stoked just that Trey is able to compete after that slam on his thumb right before the contest. I think that'll that'll be a good kind of confidence momentum for sure. builder for Trey. Yeah, he knowing made it that he can do his run all the way to nearly the end of his run. You're exactly right. About 13 years old, C.J. Collins from Victorville, California. Probably, Anaheim. probably in the running for the best dressed award. Perfect white vans. So far, best 13 year old award. Dude, he is so good. Going for, I think he's gonna try the kickflip in. Kickflip into the bank. That is so gnarly. Nobody else is doing that. 
That was the real start of this run now. He's got 25 seconds to go. CJ Collins flying around this park. Yeah, he's got to keep his speed. Keep knocking tricks down for the whole 45 seconds. Can't get lost. See right there, he's kind of slowing down a little bit too much. Too much pumping, not enough tricks. Wow, another frontside flip. Well, you know, I don't think that's going to be his keeper run, but yeah. I like that, you know, he kind of got his hard tricks hey, now under yes. his belt. It shows the potential. If he can put that run together, you know, the, the way that this park is laid out, it's really long and narrow. Look at that kick flip into the bank. Perfect yes. flick on that front foot. The way that the park is oh, laid out, really right long and narrow. If you're going all the way from the deep end to the shallow without hitting those side walls, you're going to lose your speed. CJ knows that. I think he just got a little bit off of his line. His park perception is like he's 40 years old. Yeah. He just knows right, everywhere he's going. Roman Pavich now from Ocean City, Maryland, currently California resident. 45 seconds, he needs a 77.19 to advance through tomorrow. Oh, wow, looks like he did a fast plant to judo. Back foot off and then front foot off. Nose grab the 540 over the hip. Love watching Roman skate. He's been uh, doing some trips and tours with the fans team the last year or so, and he fell on the easiest trick in his run. How do you do all those hard tricks and fall on a 50-50 grind? He was just named in uh, Thrasher Magazine. Him and his brother, the Bull Bros. They are. Shout out to Bro Cedric, also a park ripper. So with that, Pavich a 68.74. He'll have one more opportunity. Here goes Tom Shar. You might notice something a little strange about Tom Shar. He's had a cool new eyebrow design. Yeah, Tom lost a bet. He's got a vanilla ice eyebrow right now, but he's in the lead of the contest, so maybe it'll start a trend. Maybe everyone will have vanilla ice eyebrows. Look at this run. If I could skate this good, you could do anything to my eyebrows. Yeah, I'll take no kidding. it. So Tom Shar uh, sitting on that 90. You know, and you see I, the kind of looseness that goes yeah, with and I having think that's the highest good, score. Because he knows he's going to be skating right. tomorrow, so he's able to try a couple different things. He's, you know, ollieing into the shallow pocket and trying a big kickflip indie. That's uh, in the good run where he got a 90. He was doing the backside 540. So I think Tom's just kind of testing out a couple tricks for tomorrow. And I think that is a good illustration of just how good he is in skate contests. Bowman Hansen now, 24 years old, out of New Zealand. Yeah, Bowman had a rad run last time. A little loose on the front side grab. So the score needed to break into that top six, 77.19. So yeah. far, so good for Bowman. And that Smith grind he just did over the love seat is really far. Love the front side grind to fakie up the tombstone, yeah, slapping Bowman. the hand on the coping. That's the exact same spot in his run where he fell last run also. See, he's got the knee taped up. He is skating the new Gilbert Crockett right. Pros. Yep, I saw the commercial. I've been seeing the commercial. It makes me want a pair. Now I'm watching Bowman skate him. Now I want him even more. Trey Wood. This will be Trey Wood's second to last run. Look at that speed. It's funny, everyone's doing that grind and barely squeaking over the love seat, and Trey just makes it easy. All the way over the hip, tweaking it out with style. I think he's got the, uh, the confidence after that thumb injury that he can grab those tricks. Wow. 20 seconds ago, he's already had about 20 tricks. Eggplant on the tombstone. He's got 15 seconds to go. Is he going to do the kickflip lean melon? Same trick that got him last time. Now that looked like the brace hindered the grab to me. Yeah, he's got two bum hands. He's got a sprained wrist on his left, dislocated thumb on his right. So the fact that he can even grab at all is kind of amazing. Anytime you're flipping your board, I mean, the thumb is, if you're gonna try to grab it, the thumb is everything. So without use, full use of either thumb, that was gonna make that extremely difficult. Tom Shar still in the lead. The Shar attack has cleared the bowl at 90. Clay Kreiner in second, Tristan Rennie in third, Lara fourth. Here we go, CJ Collins getting cheered on by the other 13-year-old in this contest, Keegan Palmer. We'll see CJ Collins, he's got 45 seconds, high-speed rolling. Oh, no. 
first trick, and CJ Collins is not going to be skating tomorrow. And that's a bummer, because I'm a huge CJ Collins fan now. Hey, but you know, think about we're going to see CJ and Roman and Keegan and the Young Guns all year. Those kids are going to be so fun to watch as they grow into their own on Vans Park series. And I'll go ahead and throw the practice trophy to CJ Collins. He's yeah. won practice for me. And that's saying something, because he practices have been heavy. Roman Pavic, last chance here in Heat 3. He's going for the transfer. Nope, just going over the hit for Stalefish. I thought he was setting up to go onto the spine. Look at that, Backsmith up the giant tombstone. That is a beefy extension right there. Oh. Tightly wound. Back five. Did you see Roman on the cover of the newspaper yesterday? Yeah. He's a local celebrity in Manly. You're huge in Manly, Roman. Good run so far, 15 seconds to go. Wow, front feeble just locked into that deep corner. Is this a qualifying run, Neil? This is really good. He's got to keep his speed up. Maybe one more big trick. Look at that, frontside Ollie right on the peak, hanging on for dear life. That is 45 seconds of amazing skateboarding. Pure shred from Roman Pavic. And that was his last chance, so now it's up to the judging panel. Yeah, I'm really curious to see where that ends him. He's currently in 11th with a 72.84, but we're still waiting on his fourth run score. So Judges say 82-4-1, he's in fourth. Wow, so these last chances have been made full use of by Tristan Rennie and now Roman Pavic, who so finds himself in fourth place. Call it Berglund. Carl Berglund is currently on the hot seat in sixth place. Tom Schar back in the park for his fourth and final run here of Heat 3 in this qualification day. Tom switching it up now with a different run from before. Back lip in the deep end. Look at the style on that front blunt. Yeah, the, uh, the battle for the top six spots is heating up, but no one is holding the candle to this guy's spot right now. So Tom Shar now with 15 seconds to go. Perfectly dipping yeah, through the back smith. He was just cruising. He had no He was completely lost right there. I haven't seen him go for that backside line over the love seat all week. The damage has been done. Tom Shar. Still in first place with a 90, highest score of the day. And it's going to be close to you it know, for Heat 3. We've got Tom, Hanson and Wood yet Tom to Tom maybe should have just stayed in the athlete's tent after that rain delay. After he made that run with a 90, he didn't even need to come back out. You know, just getting a little, just that extra 45 seconds of park knowledge. Here goes Bowman Hanson. Yeah, I, I was talking to some of the guys after skating these heated snake sessions. These guys are like, man, it's the funnest thing just to have the park to yourself. Yeah, you would sponge up every second. So now the uh, ask to qualify through this round has bumped up to 78. It was 71 previously. Yeah, wow, alley -oop, nose grind to lip slide, super tech lip trick, Bowman Hansen, originally from New Zealand, now living down in Melbourne. Wow, alley -oop, nolly pop shove to fakey over the hip. Give it up for our wild card, Bowman Hansen, 24 years old, he's getting out of Tapo, New Zealand, currently living here in Australia. The local threat comes through, does well. 13th hey. place, solid finish. Pressure's on right here. Trey Wood, this can he get what he needs? Last he run. Plus. He's in 12th place, barely squeaking over the spine with the quick roll in. If Trey makes this run, he could definitely be in the top three or top five position. You gotta stay on, that was sketchy. I think it's all going to come down to this kickflip lean melon, just like the last two runs. He's got all these tricks right here. It's going to come down to this trick. Is he going to be skating tomorrow? Nope. Uh, yeah, Three runs in a row. Uh, I like that he stuck to his guns. He tried to finish it out. He was projecting that kickflip melon. And and he was, it, that, that's the difference between a, a 72 and, and an 85. It's just that one bit of grab that would have saved that yeah, trick. And that, I mean, adding that last trick to that run, that would be at least 
in the 80s? Well, it comes down to a 68.80. We had Trey Wood on our list of skaters to watch to potentially win this whole event. Unfortunately, Trey Wood with a dislocated thumb minutes before this contest starts. That is a big reason that uh, he goes down here on day one. We're going to take a quick commercial break. But don't worry, skate fans. We'll be back with heat number four. Do not go anywhere. This is Vance Park Series. We're live from Sydney, Australia. Welcome back to Manly Beach here in Sydney, Australia. This is stop number one on the 2017 Fans Park Series. We've made it to heat number four. It's been a wild ride, rain delays, sad little crummies, didn't make the cut. Come back, try again. They're only 13, they got plenty of years. We've got a lot to see in the future from CJ Collins and Keegan Palmer. Well, now the guy who's the man of the hour, the Shar attack has hit Manly Beach. Chris Pastris is with Tom Shar. So Tom, there was a, a bit of a debate in the booth. The kickflip Indy in the second run, was that just a bail or was that due to rain? Yeah, no, that was just a bail. I just, I was like first one I tried since I've been here, so. No, it wasn't, it wasn't because of rain. Well, most importantly, you had that amazing first run, scored a 90. You seem to have a renewed focus this year. What's different? Um, I don't know, I've just been kind of trying to, just like not take it as like seriously and kind of just more like have fun with it. Like, you're here with all your friends, and it's just like once in a lifetime kind of thing. Yeah. And I know you were primarily skating vert a few years back. Have you had to adapt your skateboarding with Vance Park Series? Uh, yeah, it's a lot different. It's, uh, yeah, it's a lot different from vert, that's for sure, but uh, it's a lot more fun, too. It's, you know, there's more to do than just kind of going back and forth, so I like it. And I, I know you guys travel in packs. Who's the funnest dudes to skate with on these things? Um, for sure, Grayson. <laughs> I mean, he's just like. He's here. I mean, he, I don't know when he when he skates. It's fun to watch. But like him and Raven kills it, and like this, like I don't know. Everyone's killing it, honestly. Speaking of having fun, we want to hear the the Vanilla Ice eyebrow story. You lost a bet or something? Tell our viewers what happened there. Why do you look like Vanilla Ice? It was like a bet slash dare. We were, well, I don't know. It was just really dumb, and I didn't think I was gonna lose, but I ended up, and then I I had to stick with it. Otherwise, I just I would have been a coward. So. <laughs> Shave the head, stay away from the eyebrows. Hopefully, I think we're going to see you in finals with that 90. You're sitting pretty. See you tomorrow, Tom Char. Back to you guys in the booth. Thanks, Pastor. I don't know, that could be the lucky eyebrow. We could yeah. be seeing more hey, of those fade eyebrows in the future. Tom ends up winning the Park Series stop here in Manly, I say run the vanilla ice all Keep year. Keep rolling. Here is your current leaderboard. Tom Char, Clay Kreiner, Tristan Rennie, Robin Pavich launches himself into fourth place with an 82-4-1 on his last run. Willie Lara hanging in there with an 80.66. Carl Berglund could not be feeling safe right now with a 78.64. This next heat is Yeah, this full next of heat is stacked. I feel like there's three or four guys in this heat that could definitely bump into that top six. Take a look. I love this matchup here. Mar Marillo Perez, he is a solid park skater. Zion Wright, a newcomer to Vans Park Series. He has been just blasting through practices. Rainy Barris, the, the, just the, the freight train has come off the tracks with Rainy. Robin Boylian, you know him, Robin, from past years. and the wildest of the wild yeah. cards, Don van der Linden. And European Skater of the Year. He's, I cool mean, to see both Rainey and Don 
anti-hero team. They've been on a tour down in New Zealand the last couple weeks with the whole Freedom. Yeah, the whole anti-hero crew. So uh, they came straight off the tour. So really stoked to see what those guys bring to Vans Park Series. You know, Don was has been in the running for Thrasher Skater of the Year, and uh, he is, I would say, put himself among the ranks of the best all-around yep. skateboarders yeah. that we've seen in history, really. I mean, everything he does, rails, parks, bowls. But Morello Perez, he has been a stalwart, starting off in the Van Dorn Invitational, now in the Vans Park Series. Yeah. High speed attack for Murillo. It's so cool to see Murillo back 100%. He had a couple of knee injuries for a while that kept him off the tour. Wow, looked like he almost hung those front wheels on the front side invert. But when Murillo is 100%, it is so fun to watch. So fast, so powerful. But he got 13th overall in last year's Global Championships in Malmo, Sweden. He got a sixth place at the CPH Open. Wow, yeah, he'll flip frontside air all the way over the long bank hip. This is a really good run. This could be a threat for the top six. Front rock on the peak. Eight seconds to go. Murillo is looking strong. Wow, that was amazing. Fakey disaster revert at time. That was a great run by the Brazilian ripper, Murillo Perez. Yeah, I'm feeling that run, and he is too. Here's your replay. I Check mean, that out. He's got just the cleanest style. He's so powerful, he skates so fast. Rad flick yeah, off the front yeah, foot. <laughs> Perfect. I didn't see that in practice either. Yeah, no kidding. You guys have been hiding so tricks from everybody. Right. Murillo Perez, like you said, when he's on, I mean, he can uh, he can be a dream crusher. Wow, sixth place. So officially, Carl Berglund is bumped out. Oh, Hit the showers, buddy. 79.54 for Bummer. Perez. Our Swedish buddy is out. Now our first look here at Vance Park Series of Zion Wright for 2017. Zion is a street skateboarding crusher. He's been skating all the damn am contests, X Games am, Border am, the last couple years. He's riding for real skateboards, put out some amazing videos with Red Bull the last year or so. We saw him skate the Park Series last year in Huntington. It's the first time he's made the trip down to Australia for Park Series. Madonna got away from him. Zion was called out in the uh, T. Eddie Awards in the latest Thrasher magazine as joining the 540 Club. And he's actually been quietly been doing 540s for yeah, quite some time now. Yeah, he did them uh, last year in Huntington. He did them really good over the hip there, but now he's uh, taking them to the flat wall. So Zion Wright's score comes through 51.06. So that won't be enough to get him uh, into that top six spot. But putting down some groundwork. So fresh out of Freedom Camp, Rainy Barris. You said it best when the train comes off the tracks. This guy, before Vans Park Series existed, we did some contests called Van Doren Invitational, and Rainy was so good at Van Doren Invitational in finding some insane transfer lines and just full speed attack that we told him anytime he wants to come to Vans Park Series, we'll give you a wild card. Yeah, he's a Vans anti-hero team rider. He almost died from a slam a couple just times. A couple years wow. back. Front nose block slide on the big bank hit. He was looking good, looking solid through the beginning part of that run. Yeah. Well, I love to watch Rainy skate because he is so unpredictable. Talk about not having a plan. He just goes in here to destroy this place. There's his teammate Don getting ready. He's got one more guy to go before you get down the list of Don. Cool to see those guys, along with Grant Taylor, came straight from the Anti-Hero Tour. Just got here yesterday. Some of these guys have been skating this park for five or six days. Anti-Hero crew was like, practice? We don't need practice. From Lyon, France, Robin Bully, and he's become a standout here on the Vance Park Series. He's yeah, like Robin, a top three result. Robin made it all the way to the World Championships last year in Malmo. And take a look at this run. Really amazing transfers all over this park. Front 50 in the deep end, big crail to tail. That is not a crail side, that's a crail grab. Slapping the tail and looked like he was a little too fast on that front nose grind. I love the high speed approach. Man, that's a really good run. I feel like if Robin puts that together, that's a threat for the top six. 
I think Robin's pretty underrated. I mean, he is, he is that good. Yeah, I believe he got top three Vancouver. Yeah. Last year. And our first look, Doobie Footer, 20 years old from Veldhoven, Netherlands. Don van der Linden. Wow, alley-oop, front 270, onto the spine tranny. Oh, the Indy in the deep end got away from him. That's our European Skater of the Year for 2016. Put out some amazing video parts in the last year or so. Don was one of those names that when it kind of came through the wire, a lot like, you know, a Grant Taylor, a lot like some of the, you know, Raven were the, the big names that you see in magazines and videos, and then you see their, their names pop up in a contest. Get pretty psyched. Yeah. He does not do very many contests. He competes in, uh, you know, the Copenhagen Open, CPH Pro. The video of him skating there in every terrain gets you fired up to see what he can do here. Here's Marillo Perez, his second run. So Marillo, Marillo currently with the highest score out of this last heat. So currently in sixth position, so he's right on the bubble of being in the semis for tomorrow, but he knows that Robin Bolian and the rest of these guys are gonna be taking shots at him. He's gotta try and up that score. Stalefish Revert. That will help. That trick that is help. really hard on grippy surfaces like this, because normally you wanna slide it around. Front blunt on the peak. Wow, with 10 seconds to go, if Marillo can stay on, this is definitely a run worthy. Wow, these in past first and second mark. runs of Murillo's have been some of the best skating I've ever yeah. seen out of him. Murillo Perez Murillo's doing back. it for Brazil. Murillo is back. My first time I saw him skate was at the Van Dorn Invitational, I believe, in 2015. I was an instant fan. I think he got second or third place. This is how he was skating. I'm so happy to see Marillo Perez back in action Wow, like he landed almost perfectly backwards, fakey into the backsmith stop. And that is so precise. The peak up there is so narrow. It's about 10 inches. You have no room for error on either side of that. I like that he tested the waters with a front rock on his previous run. Guess what? Draining. Don't even tell me. You're kidding. Yeah, let's go down to Pastris on the deck, our weatherman on the deck. <laughs> Windy with a chance of rain. It's actually uh, starting to drizzle down here on the deck, guys. This is our, our fourth stop, and I spoke to the few, a few of the pros, V. Kino and Carl Berglin, who said the, uh, the stop and starting is not good for staying warm, not good for uh, getting your line dialed. But one guy, the start and stop, did not affect was definitely Mr. Tom Shar. I think that's because he's a contest veteran. But yeah, I think we're gonna have another uh, temporary hold here due to rain. But heated contest, it's going off. Well, I just think judging, and I'm no weatherman, but I think judging by uh, the, that quick little dousing, I don't think this is gonna be a long delay. This park has already been known to dry off super fast. So uh, we are again on hold, just when you thought it was safe to go back in the pool. The skateboard Start contest, training. that will never end. <laughs> hey, hey it's I'll stick it's around. Extending it. Watch the, some of the best guys in the world. I'll stick around all day. The only problem is we're supposed to have a BMX contest later today, That's and true. I think the BMXers want us out of here. But we will see more of Don van der Linden. Zion Wright will be dropping back in again. This uh, fourth heat stalled quickly we're going to take a quick break but we will be back with more action live from sydney this is the vans park series stay tuned
He's already ready. He's ready. Always ready. Hey, what's up with the mic over here? We're, we're ready. We can do this. All right, we're doing one minute. One minute. Where are you at? What's up with my mic? It's all over the place. Where are you? Are you good at something? Everything's good? Now this is just getting crazy. We're back after another quick rain delay. Just consider that a commercial break from Mother Nature. We are live from Sydney, Australia. This is the 2017 Vans Park Series. We're so close to finishing this qualifying round. We're in the last heat of the day for skate. Fourth heat, we're about one third of the way through. Chris Cote here with Neil Hendricks. The rain has stopped yet again. The park is dry. Zion Wright will be dropping back in here momentarily to reset this heat. Marillo Perez, Zion Wright, Rainy Barris, Robin Bullion, and Don Vanderlinden. Marillo Perez just bumped his way up to third yeah, place. Yeah, that's what I was going to mention. We got a little update for any Marillo Perez fans out there. He bumped from sixth place to third. So Marillo's going to be a little bit safer. Willie Lara's on the hot seat right now. Marillo was in sixth after his first run, had a killer second run, bumped up to third. So I think Marillo's looking pretty safe. Roman and Willie still gonna have to sweat it out. Yeah, that fifth and sixth place spot, historically speaking, has always been just a sketchy place yeah. to be when you number think four, of four. what you can do now towards qualification. All you can do is sit and watch some of the best park skaters in the world, right. in their element. You know, Robin Bullion, he is always just known as that guy, super consistent, high speed attack. You know, so every, good. everyone in this heat is capable of making it into the semis tomorrow, but I really, like you, I expect Robin Bullion to put a run together. Well, Zion Wright from Jupiter Beach, Florida, 18 years old. He's got 45 seconds on the clock. Starts it off, blasting into the park. He is such a good all-around skater. Kills it in the streets. He skates big, giant vert bowls. He can skate vert ramps. He skates mini ramps. Jumps down giant handrails. Kills it on the park course. He's got a nice backside air on it, doesn't he? He had a little guest trick in Willie Lara's in-transition part that we were talking about earlier. 21 seconds ago, this is his best run yet so far. Oh, the back trail didn't quite get onto the coping on that giant tombstone. The commentator cursed God, I'm sorry Zion, all your fault. So Zion Wright, his previous score was a 51.06. He improves a little bit at 59.08. That is not gonna be enough. He hangs on in 16th place. Here we go, Rainy Barris. Oh, first wall, that frontside air transfer in the shallow pocket got away from him. It's been cool to see Rainey's little brother Rye is here filming for Thrasher Mag. Might see Rye always puts out some amazing clips for a bunch of the skateboard brands. Fresh out of Freedom Camp, Rainey Barris. He's got two more tries. Never like to see you know somebody that you want to see skate more fall on their first run because there is no second chances. If you fall, your run is over. Watch out, Robin Bullion. I think this is, is going to be a really good run. Robin is a guy that's just been smashing all these practice sessions. Backside ollie landing right on that hip. Slob grab into the shallow pocket. Oh, 
That's rare. That is super rare. But hey, that's one of the challenges of all these breaks. We've had four rain delays today. So these guys, it is so hard to just start and stop and start and stop. <laughs> yeah, I'm with and, uh, you there. You know, there's nothing that... It's like getting can... iced out when you're a kicker going 100%. for a field goal. Yeah. Time out. You're These iced. guys, the muscles are warm. You've been drinking water all day, and then you're taking a break. Don van der Linden. Oh, my gosh. That was amazing. Switch that's, rolling. See, that's why... You love to watch this guy hey, skate. Unpredictable. That was about a five second run, and that was one of the coolest five second runs I've ever seen. He's just got it. I thought he was trying to backside nose pick, and he just dropped in switch. Watch this. Grabs it. Let's go of it. Switch, drop in, and then switch, roll in. That is so hard. I am. Well, I'm excited because we have two more opportunities to watch Don. Hopefully he can uh, get something going in his next two runs. Marillo Perez, current third place skater. No, he needs a 90.01 to get to first place, but so far, all you gotta do is get in that top six to advance to tomorrow. Yeah, Marillo's looking good. Sitting pretty good in third place right now. Looks like he got a little bit lost right there. I love the start of this run with that really long grind over the love seat. Cap disaster, super quick. Marillo had just said a couple of, you know, just before this run that he had gotten lost in his previous high scoring run. Dude, Marillo is just on fire. All three of his runs have been amazing. I love the little set slide. He's kind of just messing around right now. I think he's uh knows that he's looking good to skate again tomorrow. Fakey pivot to fakey backside. Man, that is three amazing runs for Marillo Perez. RTMF all day for Marillo Perez, who found, finds himself in third place. And look at his scores, a 79.54, an 83.58, backs it up with an 82.65. Those are three of the biggest scores we've seen all day, back to back to back. You know, I think the only other guy that put together three runs like that was Tristan Rennie. If you remember Tristan from the second heat, pretty much made all of his runs. Tristan and Murillo, probably the most consistent of the day. Zion Wright, can he put things back together? Love the way he starts his run. Yeah, that's a really cool start of the run. Get him some speed into the shallow corners. Tweaking out the front side grab over the hip. See if he can hang on in this deep end. Got the nose grab on the backside air, slapping the tail. Zion's got the vert skills, big Madonna. It's all a deep end work right there. Let's see if he's going for the back trail on the tombstone again. Oh, the same exact thing happened to him. That big tombstone has gnarly pool block coping that sticks out a lot. It's really hard to scoop your tail up onto the top of the tombstone. The real am from Jupiter Beach, Florida. We will have one more opportunity to watch Zion Wright do work. He got a 59.20. He had to break that 60-point mark. Rainey Barris now. We'll see what Rainey can do. There's the transfer that he fell on last time. I love the nose bone on the Indy. Stalled out invert to fakie. That was a proper hand plan. We haven't seen a lot of hand plants in this uh, first round yet. Yeah, that's true. We haven't seen uh, Ronnie Sandoval until tomorrow. <laughs> nice, high to low. All right, with 15 seconds to go, Rainey in control while out of control. Yeah, it's so rad. Even just, you know, his his hand yes. motions remind me so much of John Cardiel in the 90s. Just such an aggressive style, hanging on to everything. Little kung fu arms right there. Rainey Barras. The train didn't fly off the tracks. That was fun to watch. Yeah, that is uh, pure rainy right there. That's what you see in his video parts, you know, his web clips that he drops. Always love to watch rainy when he is fully connected. And the score is going to come through here in a minute. I think the judges need to take a minute because he kind of threw some different variations as to what we've seen throughout the day. Yeah, 7407, 12th place. Beat some heavy hitters, Rainy Barras. Maybe it was just a little bit messy on the finish. 45 seconds for Robin Bullion. Yeah, Robin needs to make this run. 
He's got a 55 and a 40 on the board, but this guy is capable of being in the 80s without a doubt. It all starts with his backside whip through that corner, doesn't yeah, it? It nice. just launches him with so much speed. I love that big trail to tail. There's the nose grind, got him again. He fell on that in his first run. Looked like he just stuck on the coping. He is so frustrated. Similar situation to Zion. It's like when the, 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 the momentum starts to get him through the run, it's that one trick that has knocked him off both times. And it's confidence. Then you start questioning it because you've been practicing that trick all week and now all of a sudden you're stuck on it. Don van der Linden. So many people have cited him as their favorite skater. Oh my God, he almost caught Wow, that was amazing. Really scary. Yeah, Don, I like Alley -oop, I like you front 270. So do I. Are we going for the gusto? We get to see him in every spot. Yeah, I like that he's I mean, not up. Uh, yeah, I'm psyched that he's on the tour. He's not in contest right, mode. He's just in Don mode. This yeah. is how he skates. Uh, I love it. Is currently in so your place. qualifiers thus far, we're taking Perez. six out of 20. Rillo Perez currently in third place, and he should be feeling a little bit safe. So if I'm Marillo, I'm not going 1,000%, but from what we know about Marillo, he doesn't have that switch. Yeah, but he also, just always switches you on. know, when you know you're gonna be skating tomorrow, it's your it's a good time to practice some new lines or maybe adding a couple tricks when you got the, the pressure of the contest. It's a, it's a good chance to see how you can up your run. He knows he's uh, he's gonna have to add to this run tomorrow. Looks like he switched things up a little bit literally now, switched it up. Fakey front 50-50. Yeah, you're right, we had not seen that trick yet either. Oh, the 50-50 over the love seat didn't lock on. Great skateboarding by Murillo Perez. Three perfect runs, and then 90% uh, of a perfect run on the fourth attempt. He's in third place right now. We're gonna see Murillo Perez tomorrow. Unless something shocking happens right now, Murillo will be safe. No, in we're third gonna place. see Murillo tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Take my word for it. Zion Wright, last chance here at stop number one in the Vans Park Series. I want to yeah. see Zion put together a full 45 here. Zion switched it up. He had been doing the lean melon grab on that start of his run, did the crail grab. Yeah, I love, you know, how many guys in this contest can slay a handrail or, or put out a gnarly street video part like Zion can. Well, I love that we have invited some of the most well-rounded skateboarders on the planet to compete with us here. Zion's one of those guys. And just getting better. He's still young. He's only 18 years old. alley -oop nose grab over the hip. This is the longest Zion has stayed on. 10 seconds. Is the 540 coming? Yes, there it is. Oh, just barely under-rotated. That was almost it. Man, we just saw him projecting that. Pastris, what's going on down in the deck? Will this weather hold for three more runs? Oh man, it's heated down here. I think uh, the ripping is gonna keep the, the bowl dry. And you know, it's crazy. This is such a big park. I think the biggest challenge I'm seeing from the guys is keeping their speed throughout their runs and not getting lost. These guys have had a ton of practice but not with an empty bowl. So you see guys do about half their line and then get a little crossed up and a little lost. So uh, here we have Rainy Bear as a guy who I haven't seen a, do a whole line yet in the contest. And he's kind of just freestyling it, shredding. But uh, you got Tom Shar out there with a very, very calculated line. So it's, it shows in a Tom Shar scores. He's been able to get a full pull in this thing, You're which is not right. easy. Pastris down on the deck, and now we've got two more skaters to go to complete this. What has been a, a wild and crazy round of skateboarding. This is Robin Bullion's last chance. He seemed to have been a perennial qualifier, but this is his final opportunity. Hey, I thought Robin was gonna be in the top six for sure. He's been skating so good all week. He desperately needs this run. Big body jar in the deep end. I love this scooped out. I was gonna say crail to tail. He switched it up, did a frontside air disaster. Got rid of the seconds. nose grind. He decided not to do the nose grind. He had been putting in his line the last couple runs. On pace to potentially getting into that 80 plus mark. 14 seconds for Robin Bullion. Oh, 540 over the hip. He had a really weird setup. I saw him carve across the flat. 
there again. I think he got a little bit lost there at the end of his run. Unfortunately, Robin Bolian is not going to be in the semifinals. That was looking like an 80-plus yeah. run. If, I mean, with that 540 over the hip, he would have been in the top six, I think. Yeah, see, I don't think it would have. He had to try something super yeah. hard at the back end of that run. Our last look at Don van der Linden from the Netherlands. Last skater, last heat, last trick, and that's time. Well, if you fall, your run is over. So unfortunately for Don fans like myself and you, Neil Hendricks, that's all we get to see from Dan Don van der Linden for the first stop here on the Dance Pro Skate Park Series. But the good news is we got through all qualifiers. We are done. We have six skaters that are going to join our Park Series Select Pros tomorrow for a 20-man semifinal. Well, what should have taken about 45 minutes took us a couple of hours due to those rain delays, but I'm telling you the rain delays didn't really seem to affect the scores. Anytime skaters are dropping 90s and high 80s, you know you've got a skate contest on our hands, and that's what we have here in Sydney. We're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back to wrap it all up and tell you what to look forward to tomorrow. This has been Qualifier Day here at the Vans Park Series, live from Sydney. Stay tuned. It's been a wild ride to get to where we are now, but we have our six qualifiers decided. So after four heats of five skaters each, the, uh, the rain held, uh, held back enough for us to finish what we started. So stop number one here on the Vans Park Series, live from Manly Beach here in Sydney, Australia. Round one is done. Chris Cote here with Neil Hendricks, and what a crazy start to the Vance Park Series. We're gonna take a look at your top six runs on the day. And these came kind of at all different times throughout the morning. We're gonna start with Tristan Rennie. Looks like we got Willie Lara and there's the Pogo Rock to Fakie cab disaster. Willie Lara just barely squeaked in there. Sixth place. We're stoked to see Willie. Willie's had a Good couple months, won the Barracks in Transition Contest. This is Roman Pavic. Roman Pavic came our, through on his last run of four. Yeah, one of our young guns, only 15 years old from Ocean City, Maryland. Him and his brother, Cedric, been killing all the parks in the US. Coming in. Tristan. Was Tristan Rennie? Yeah. Who? Tristan Rennie was so impressive. He was he a had, leader at one point. Yeah, he had four runs today, did completely different lines, completely different tricks, all four runs. He has really added to his bag of tricks this year for Vans Park Series. Well, after Tristan Rennie and Murillo Perez, who <laughs> we know what Murillo's capable of, and he lived up to our expectations just thrashing in this part. Yeah, full speed attack. I love the just roll into Smith grind. That stalefish revert on a really grippy concrete is such a hard trick. Front blunt up on the peak of the spine. No room for error on that trick. So Marilla Perez came through qualifying in third place. And a guy who you had to consider a bit of a dark horse coming into this contest as a wild card. It was Clay Kreiner who has been 
on an absolute tear through Australia. Yeah. But the momentum is still with him. Everyone is doing frontside airs over that hip. Clay is doing them higher than anyone. Still running the knee brace from a knee injury a few months ago. Sprained his MCL at the Rumble at Ramona. He'll flip frontside air over the hip. Love it. Clay Kreiner now putting his name on that list, but it was all about the Shar attack. Tom Shar continuing yeah. his winning ways from last season. Your first place qualifier, Tom Shar. You know what? If he does this same run tomorrow, I think even with the best Park Series select pros in the mix, I think this could be a threat to win the contest. I'm with you. This was that 90, the highest score of the day. And I'll tell you what, he had some left too. He was yeah. saving a couple little gems that he could possibly add into that run to make it even that much better. I've seen him trying the back tail shove. He almost won Bondi Bolarama with that trick. Him and Corey Juno were battling. He's gonna go head to head with Corey Juno and 13 more of those guys tomorrow. Now one skater who we're excited to say has been on the comeback path. He is back. Marillo Perez is with Chris Pastris. So, Marillo, you were on our podium at Van Doren Invitational in 2014. How big of a motivator is that for you? Do you want to be back on the podium here? For sure. Every time that I skate, I want to do my best. And I always remember, I remember that contest because it was, like, was my first year like a pro. And I knew that like the park series over there in Huntington was like the, the contest with the highest level of skateboarding transition. And like I always was like dreaming about to compete there, and in my sec that was my second year that I competed there, and I could like just get inside the podium, get third. That was like for sure one of the best day of my life. Awesome, and you look really focused out here. Are you on a mission to get back on the podium with this year's Van Doren Invitational? And what are you doing to prepare? Have you been skating a bunch back in Brazil? I think my biggest mission is to always have fun. Like I want to be healthy. I've been like hurt for so long in this like two past years and now I'm, I'm like 120 percent like recover way more stronger like way more confident like this is my mission like just keep skating the longs that i can and for sure if i am on the, in a contest i want to do the best that i can not to to show who i am who am i but just like to prove that i always can like surprise myself you're always giving it 110 percent and really quick Let's give a shout out to Brazil in Portuguese, to our Brazilian viewers. All right, this time we're gonna talk in Portuguese. Aí, eu queria mandar um abraço para todo mundo que torceu, o Gabriel, o Caio, todos os amigos que estão lá em casa, meu pai, minha mãe. É... Não sei, eu não tenho palavras para descrever, tô muito feliz. Foi, eu me esforcei muito, treinei muito nesses tempos aí para estar com o skate no pé e aconteceu. Obrigado a todo mundo. Awesome. Congratulations, Marilla. We'll see you tomorrow in our semifinals. Back to you guys. Thanks, Pastris. Marilla Perez, he is a man on a mission. I love that he just threw it out there. I just want to have fun. When he's having fun, the results follow. So, Marilla, your third place qualifier. So, again, a crazy day. Rain squalls, 540s, some incredible achievements by some young skaters the rise of the teenagers that we're just starting to see here's a look at your results the final results for the qualifier day we told you about your top six let's talk about the bottom carl berglund was so yeah, close yeah i just heard the guys from the border and vans tell carl berglund and vika quino to show up tomorrow they're going to be the alternates for the semi-finals if there's any injuries before the contest starts Carl Berglund and Vinicius Caquinho could get in there. These guys, unfortunately, are not going to advance to tomorrow. But you can see some of the young blood, like CJ Collins. There's unfortunately, the, we there's had... the grudge match between CJ and Keegan. Keegan yeah. got this one over CJ. Yeah, but their uh, their little buddy Roman, who's just a couple years older, advanced to the semifinals. So uh, the big he, he's the big dog out of the young gun crew. Well, with the 20 qualifiers we had today, we took six. And now they're going to be matched up with our select pros competing tomorrow. Sorgente, your current champion. Alex Sorgente, Ben Hatchell, Chris Russell. All the big dogs have come out to play. Ivan Federico is back, looking like he's meaning business. He's learned some new tricks. Oski, Halberg, Pedro Barros, Raven. Everybody's looking yeah. so good Corey in practice. Juno won the big Bolarama contest just a couple weeks ago. He's been on fire. Raven. As this 
Raven Park Tursi series. now switches over to BMX. Here's your champion from last year. Talking about Alex Sorgente coming back as your reigning champion. And this is where the championships begin. Here's stop number one, Sydney in Manly Beach, Australia. Do not forget to tune in tomorrow, 11 a.m. for the semifinals and the finals. Tell you what, our select pros are looking better than ever. And the six that we took from today could have never picked the six skaters that made it through, but I tell you, they're gonna match up quite nicely with our select pros tomorrow. Yeah, I cannot wait to see Grant Taylor, Raven Tershi, and the boys tune in tomorrow. All right, well, Chris Cote, Neil Hendricks, Chris Pastris, we are out. Stick around to watch these highlights. Get yourself psyched for tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow morning, 11 o'clock. Set your watch, we'll see you tomorrow. On the James Jones.